Okay, looks like we're all recording. Looks like we're all good. Let me just pull up chat here. How y'all doing, everybody? Just there. So as you can see, we are going to be doing a Pokedex run of Pokemon Blaze Black. I should probably explain what this mod is before we get into it. It's essentially just, it makes every Pokemon available throughout the game. So you can complete the entire national decks, which, as you can see by the title, that's the goal. I have a little counter for it. 649, so it's going to take a while. This is the largest like, run of a mod I've done for the decks, like, ever. Let's hit new game. Get cozy here. I think I'm all... I think we're all good to go. I want to play it already. Ooh. It's loud for me. Hang on. Pokemon fanfare. Oh. My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Was she always animated? I don't remember, to be honest. Everyone should be comfy like the little bear in the corner. This hack is inhabited by every Pokemon currently in existence. Isn't that fabulous? Mutations to Pokemon have also been seen. A great number of Pokemon have something different about them. Pokemon might have different types, abilities, stats, or movesets. It's practically an alternate universe. The differences don't end there. There's many things you may see. You might find stronger foes, different items, different evolutions. It makes for a fresh experience. That's why this hack exists. Well, that's enough for me. Could you tell me about yourself? Okay, so... Pretty much every playthrough I've ever done of Pokemon Black has always been as, a uh, Toya. Or Hilbert, if we're gonna call him that. I have never once played as Toko or Hilda. And I told chat last time I played Pokemon Black that I would play as Hilda for the next one, so let's just do that. Yeah, sure. I'd like to know your name. Please tell me. Okay, let's put this in. Let me know if the audio is good for you guys. Now, obviously, since we're catching 649 Pokemon, it's going to be a long playthrough. So, get comfy. Put this on in the background. Get yourself some cocoa and a blanket like little cup chew down there. Your name is Asprey. Yes, it is. What a wonderful name. Well, then, I'm going to introduce you to your two best friends. Am I a VTuber? No, no, no. It's just a little bear in the corner. I can't afford that. This young man is Charon. He can be a little difficult, but he's a very honest person. This young woman's Bianca. He's a little flighty, but she works very hard. I think you three have potential, so I'm going to give you a very, very important Pokemon. Asprey, the moment you choose the Pokemon that will accompany you on your journey, your story will truly begin. During your adventure, you will meet many Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of view. It's like browsing the internet. I really hope you find what's important to you in all these travels. That's right, I befriend new people, and Pokemon, and grow as a person. That is the most important goal for your journey. Let's go visit the new world of Pokemon. Excellent. If I could afford a VTuber model, it would be like a leather jacket, over the top like a Tomei hair, like an eye patch, because why the hell not? But, I don't have that. Maybe one day, just for the heck of it, for to use a few times. Because why not? Be a part of the trend. Be a part of the future. Thank you for the resub, Lorelei. Asprey, I heard from Professor Juniper. We can have a Pokemon? It's keeping Bianca. Waiting, waiting. There she is. I am a little late again. Sorry. I'm not going to do an uwu voice. I'm not going to do an uwu voice. It's too cold for that. I'm going to have the sniffles and sound like I have a cold. Bianca, I've known for 10 years that you have no sense of time. But seriously, today's the day we can get a Pokemon from, from Professor Juniper. I know. Sorry, Asprey. Sorry, Jaren. Oh, darn it. I, oh, I, got to, I said sorry anyway. What's wrong with me? Because you typed it in chat, stop it. So where are the Pokemon? They were delivered to Asprey's house, so Asprey gets the pick first. Naturally. The Pokemon are waiting for us inside the gift box. Okay, Asprey, you go first and take a peek at the gift box. I want to meet the Pokemon right now. Can't escape from it now. We got them. They're all bullies. Be sure to use the enclosed documents to check for changes. If you do not have them, get them from there. Rayano. Let's do it. 
Choose a Pokemon. Okay, it's been a while since I used Snivy, so I think I'm gonna go with that. The last Unova thing I did, I used Tepig, which was just a few months ago. Is this the Mon you want? Yeah. I hope it's a good one. Snivy's actually great here. Well, that's good. I need a friend to catch Pokemon with. Okay, I'll take this Pokemon. Charon, that one's yours. Hey, how come you get to pick out my Pokemon? Oh, never mind. I wanted Tepig from the start anyway. Everyone has chosen a Pokemon, so that's that. Hey, I know. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Honestly, Bianca, even though they're still weak Pokemon, you shouldn't have battles inside a house. Don't be a worrywart. These little ones are weak, like you said. We have to let them battle so they get stronger. It's settled, Asprey. Ooh, I just realized I got my first Mon. I need to update the counter. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oop. Excellent. And by doing that, I accidentally minimized chat. Of course I did. <laughs> now, I don't know if they have any better stats for their rival battle, but we'll see. Only 648 to go. I was really hoping it could be shiny. I actually don't know if the shiny rates have been adjusted for this. So if you know, feel free to let me know. Tackle. Oh, she want use tackle. Eek, ouch, I won't let you get away with that. If someone gets a crit, they win. Getting booped by the otter. I got the lead. Look at little Cubchoo just watching the Pokemon bop each other. He's having a good time. This is a comfy check. All of you should be as comfy as the bear. Okay, good. I almost lost that. Hey, check it out. 420. Snivy, go to level 6. Okay, I have a bit more attack. That's good. Pokemon on both sides did their best, but mine did better. You failed the comfy check. If you're not comfy while watching, I will send Cubchoo to your house, and he will give you the sniffles, too. He will sneeze on all your stuff. Esprit, you're gonna be an awesome trainer someday. I can tell. No doubt. Uh, Bianca, would you take a look around? Whoa, what happened? Wow, Pokemon are amazing. So little, but so strong. So glad I get to have a Pokemon. Oh, um, sorry about your room, Asprey. You are completely hopeless. Here, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. He's healing me. Asprey's Pokemon needs to be fixed up, too. Hey, Charon, how about you battle, too? With all you know, I'm sure you can battle without turning the room into a disaster area like I did. I believe you're right. It'll be no problem for me to keep the room from getting any messier. Besides, it's not fair if you two are the only ones who get to have fun battling. It's decided you'll be my opponent in our first Pokemon battle. Let's see what you can do, Tepig. You know, since they can only tackle each other, do you think, like, effectively what's happening is they throw their Pokemon onto the carpet and they just kind of bonk into each other like Beyblades? That, that's gotta be what's happening. <laughs> and just the thought of that's kind of funny. Until one of them falls over. All right, let's go for the tackle. I feel like if I waste a turn on Leer, he's gonna, he's gonna end me. I got a trainer. Everything starts here. Let's do it. Oop. Mom skimped down on construction for the room. That's why, of course. The Wii is still standing. Of course, that thing's made out of like Nintendium. It never dies. It will always be there. Whenever you feel like playing Mario Galaxy. Two, anyway, since you can't play that one on Switch. Let's go. I did it. I'd be dead if I used Leer. Snake wins. If I didn't get the level up from Bianca, that would've killed me. Oh, nice. I got Vine Whip. Oh, so that's a Pokemon battle. We all good with audio? Game too quiet? Too loud? Feel free to let me know. Making sure it's all good. 
These Pokemon playthroughs have got to make a good first impression, because they're usually what gets recommended in the algorithm. I made a strange blunder in my first battle, but this feeling I have. I'm finally a trainer. But first, we better go apologize to your mother about this messed up room. Ooh, I better come too. Look at all the footprints everywhere. The Beyblade battle just had them bonking across the walls too. Don't worry, the Wii's fine. I'm very sorry about the trouble, ma'am. Well, um, we can clean up. Cleaning up? No worries, I'll take care of it later. Shouldn't you be on your way to meet Professor Juniper? Yes, thank you. Please excuse us. Come on, let's go thank Professor Juniper. I'll be waiting in front of the research lab. Oh, wait, I gotta go home first. Thanks for having us over. There's only three houses in this place. Excluding the lab. What do they do their whole lives? My, my, Asprey. Pokemon battles are so lively, aren't they? Go here. Oh, thank you for gifting ten gift subs there, Pokemania. Appreciate that. I could hear the Pokemon's cries clear down here. Hmm, that sure reminded me of my first battle. Oh, and you know, after a battle, you need to rest your Pokemon. Your Pokemon's looking great. Now, if you're gonna go out, don't forget your bicycle and phone. Oh, sweet. Free bike from the start. They know what's up. You're gonna thank the professor too, right? Get going, honey. Sweet. I can't run yet, but I can use the, um, thing. Oh, there it is. Register. Let's see, it seems like you get the shiny star, uh, shiny charm instead of the bike in Castellia. That's the main change to the shiny rate. Okay, that's fair enough. So the shiny odds will be boosted a little bit later, I guess. Renegade and Renegade Platinum, they were a little bit increased, but in a weird way. Hang on, we gotta go see Bianca's dad first, because he's gonna be a little baby. No, no, a thousand times no. But I'm, I'm a good trainer who got a Pokemon and everything. I have a, I, I've lost every battle I've participated in. I'm definitely a good trainer. I can totally go on an adventure. Oh, oh it's, it's okay. It's fine. I'll be waiting for you in front of the lab, okay? Well, let's go. Yeah, the shiny charm was introduced in black and white too, so I guess it's been popped in here, yeah. Okay, let's go meet the professor. I don't want to hear bike music right yet. By the way, I'm gonna have to adjust something once Juniper gives me the decks. I have to uh, do something to enable the national decks so we can see the entries for everything. Hi there, I've been waiting for you young people. Let me introduce myself again. My name is... Professor Juniper? We know your name. Come on, Charon. This is not the time to take things lightly. Today's the day to remember always, so it's best to behave with some formality. That being so, once again, my name is Juniper, and I am researching when and how the creatures called Pokemon came into existence. Oh, that's unusual. You've already had a battle. So maybe that's why. It feels as though your Pokemon already have begun to trust you. By the way, would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? No, that's okay. You aren't planning to use a nickname? Well, that's fine, too. It's gonna- it's more disorganized when I try to nickname everything, because I'm using multiple Pokémon. As for why I gave you all your Pokémon... It's for the Pokédex, right? Although maybe at least Snivy could have gotten one, but eh. Pokédex. I'm astonished. Nice work, Charon. You've already studied Pokémon extensively, haven't you? Still, let me explain everything from the beginning, for everyone's sake. Jack can just nickname it. We can call him, like, Little, uh... Little Boopy. The Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokémon you encounter. So, I want you three to visit many places and meet all of the Pokémon in the Unova region. This is my request. You know what else is in, is in Unova? Bears. Little ice bears with hot cocoa and a blanket. Asprey, Charon, Bianca... You'll go on an adventure to complete the decks, will you not? Yeah, sure. That is why I'm streaming today. Okay. I mean, uh, yes, Professor. 
Thank you very much. Because of you, I can become a Pokemon trainer exactly as I've always wished. All of you, thanks. You've given me the best possible answer. Alrighty, we got the decks. Next, I need to teach you how to meet Pokemon. Please meet me at Route 1, okay? Oh god, you're still gonna teach me how to catch them. Since the professor asked us, it's okay to go on an adventure, right? I can explore and maybe find out what I want to do in life. I think I'd like that. Of course. We can travel however we want while we complete the decks. Except there will be many roadblocks with Team Plasma we have to deal with. Okay, now that I have the decks... Hold up, still more cutscene. It's Gen 5. Come on, Asprey, wait up. Ooh, there you are. And what did the professor have to say? She asked you to, to complete the decks? I can't believe it. Well, actually, I can. I already knew she was going to ask. That's why I brought you three of these town maps. Take them with you. Put in the key item case. Here you are, Charon. I'll take good care of it. Yeah, this is supposed to increase the difficulty as it goes on. But I'm also catching everything along the way, trying to beat the decks. And one for you too, Bianca. Thank you so much! As for your room, Asprey, or what's left of it, no need for any of you to worry. I'll take care of tidying up. Okay? Oh, Pokemon. They're so cute, but they have enough power to destroy a bedroom. Really are something. Pokemon like that at your side, you'll be safe wherever you go. I'll let your parents know. I hope that in addition to Pokemon, you'll find lots and lots of places you like in the Unova region. And become wonderful adults. Have a great trip! If I use the town map, I'll always know where I am. It's certainly helpful. Shall we head to Route 1? The professor's waiting. Let's go, let's go. Asprey, hurry and come too, okay? Hold up. I'll do the catching tutorial first before I, um... Try to enable the national decks. Just worried it might break if I don't- if I do it before. Nova has seasons. A change every month. So ev everyone has barely seen them all. Asprey, it's this way. Bianca says if we're starting a journey, she wants us all to take our first step at the same time. Hey, Asprey. Let's all take our first step to Route 1 together. Oh, this is so wholesome. Here we go. One, two... Ooh, I wonder what will happen. Isn't this so exciting? It sure is. Come on, the professor's waiting. She still needs to teach me how to catch things, apparently. Professor Juniper, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Now that everyone's here, I'll explain. The Pokedex pages update automatically whenever you meet a Pokemon. Moreover, it's set up so that you obtain even more information when you catch a Pokemon. To make this clear, I'm going to demonstrate how to catch a Pokemon. I've caught one Pokemon. It's been almost 20 minutes. Go ahead, catch that Pat Rat. Oh. Gotcha. Patch Rat was caught. Did you see that just now? Here's how it goes. Step by step, first reduce the Pokemon's HP. Pokemon that still have all their energy are difficult to catch. If you can, use your Pokemon's moves to make the Pokemon you want to catch fall asleep, or paralyze it. And to wrap this up the best way, I have a gift for you. Some Pokeballs. Thank you for the sub there, friend. Appreciate it. Asprey put the balls in the item case. Pokeballs are used for catching Pokemon and for carrying the Pokemon you catch. I'm gonna go on ahead. I'll be waiting for you in Acum Acumula Town. Bleh. Okay, can I move? She forgot to say that Pokemon will jump out at you in tall grass. I'm heading to Accumula Town too. I think I'll go too. I'm looking forward to the next town so I can go shopping for Pokeballs. Thank you, Bear, for the sub there too. Wait a minute. Hey, listen, Asprey, Charon, I thought of something fun. What if I talk in an uwu voice? But we need to get going. I'd imagine the professor's waiting too. Did you just listen a sec? Seriously, why don't we see who can catch the most Pokemon? person carrying the most Pokemon, including the one from received from the professor, is the winner. Huh, that actually sounds interesting. 
It will fill up our dex pages, so I'm sure that it will please the professor, too. Okay, then. Until we reach Accumula Town, take care of healing your Pokemon at your own house. Me and Oshawott will do our best for sure. Kind of spamming the Uwu Bianca emote. Saw we chat, but I'm not going to talk in Uwu all day. Okay, and I am back, everybody. Welcome to the future. So I have to explain this right quick for the YouTube audience. For the past hour or so, I have been trying to fix a technical difficulty. I wanted to enable the national decks so that we can see the decks entries. However, apparently for Black and White 1, doing so just actually breaks the game. Like, every time I would get it to work, it would just delete the save data. So I had to kind of replay the intro again. As you can see, I went ahead and I just named the Snivy Boopy like I promised. That's the whole real difference. Uh, what's that? No, that, no, that's okay. We don't need to know the Snivy's IVs. You don't need to check those. I'm just glad we were back to where we were. I had to take a little bit of a break and stop the stream because it was actually kind of frustrating. I really just wanted it to work, but we can still see the new Pokemon, don't worry. Let's get into the grass already. There it is. First catch of the day. Say hello to Boopy. Uh, would Vine Whip finish it? Probably. Try this. Also, a quick audio check since we restarted. You guys let me know how everything sounds. Maybe I need to turn the game audio down a tad. Who knows? Oop. Hit him with another tackle. Perfect. It's not a big deal. Chat can just tell me the dex entries if they really want to, but, um... Yeah, it's just really weird how it breaks the whole game. Hold up, we'll go to the bag. We're gonna catch something, finally. Get in there. One. Two. Three. Oop. Old Unova mu music sounds weird after getting used to the Scarlet Violet versions. Yeah, I can hear that. Oh. My goodness. It shows them anyway? It actually shows it anyway. Are you serious? It walks in a zigzag fashion. It is good at finding items in the grass and even in the ground. I have spent the past hour trying to get the game to unlock the national decks for me, and I find out that even without it, it still displays the, the entries anyway. Well... If that isn't a hilarious conclusion to this, all these technical difficulties, I don't know what is. <laughs> of course, it's gonna get edited out for YouTube. Only on capture, though. That's right. I can't. I can't check a look in the, the Dex itself or on Evolution. Oh well. Oh dear. Well then, at least we caught it. Give a nickname to it. No, no nickname. Not right now, anyway. Hold up, let's update the counter. At least that's something. Bit of a compromise. Rubbing salt in the wound, you're telling me. Hang on, let's take a quick peek at stuff. Snivy is serious, and it has contrary. That's pretty good. I'm assuming the starters are guaranteed to have their hidden abilities. Ooh, this'll be fun with Leaf Storm later. Is this why Snivy's considered the best for this one? 14 defense, 12 attack, 12 special attack. Hit the wrong button, but do you have pickup? Quirky. Yep, okay, we can keep this with us to pick up some stuff. Hmm. For the realistic experience, YouTube should pause the video for an hour if they're true fans. Yeah. Contrary is the hidden ability. What was happening? So every time I tried to enable the national decks... Oh, hey, rat. Um, like, just for viewing the dex entries, pretty much, the game would break and just delete the save data. And the first time it happened, I didn't have a backup, so... I had to just, like, speed through the intro to get back to where I was, and then make another backup. Snivy can get Draco Meteor in this game. Sick. Yeah, it does have pickup. Uh-oh. YOLO ball? It might take me out, but I'm willing to accept that risk. We need to catch some Pokemon. So guess what, chat? Late stream today. You too, YouTube audience. We're staying up late. 
We may have lost a bunch of time getting this to work, but hey. Ratatat's data was added to the decks. Cautious in the extreme, its hardy vitality lets it live in any kind of environment. Even Alola. Two rodents caught. I'm guessing I can also find Sentrit and Patrat here as well. Let's see here. Oop. Update the counter to three. Getting there. We need to go back to being comfy like Cupchu is. Hang on. I don't have the bike registered yet. Let's do that. Let's go home for a moment. Will Teddy get to bed on time? Don't worry, he will. Thank you all so much for waiting patiently. I, I always feel super bad when I have to, like, stop the stream to, like, cool off and fix stuff. Man. You and your Pokemon should all be filled with energy again. Maybe Bidoof as well. Let's check for pickup items. Nope, nothing. Let's do it. I got a pink bike, because my character's a girl. Did she fix the room already? Probably. Oh, hey, Pidgey. The whole Route 1 All-Stars is here. Hope he doesn't have Gust. People know streams don't happen by magic, so don't worry about tech difficulties. I know, I know. I appreciate it, though. I'm gonna need to buy more Pokeballs, though. Is that yellow? We could just eat the ball, since I'm gonna miss. Oh! Right, contrary. Sand attack buffs my accuracy. I'm actually really glad I picked this thing. Razor Wind? Bro, you're level 5. Chill out. Excellent. You thought the stream was broadcasted through Teddy Bear Magic. Unfortunately, I'm unable to do that. Let's do it. Oh, excellent. I'm glad you're all good bears. You too, YouTube audience. You're wholesome little friends, too. First this. It is docile, prefers to avoid conflict. If disturbed, however, it can uh, ferociously strike back. I'm gonna catch them all. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and add the number four there. And every time I do that, I, I minimize chat because of my layout. Let's go up, up here now. Maybe I should take something out with Boopy. Good evening, everybody. Welcome. Maybe some of you are watching this for the first time and this is your first impression of the stream. In which case, if you're watching live, probably left when the tech difficulties happened, but if you're watching on YouTube, hello, how you doing? Did I just show up in your recommended? Sorry about that, it happens a few times. Tackle. I'm getting some EXP by taking this boy out. Are Route 1 Mons in Unova usually around level 4 and 5? Or are they like 2 or 3? Can't recall. Sick. Take that for now. How about it, Asprey? Do you want to compare which one of us has the most Pokemon? Yeah. Wow, four? That's awesome. Are you expect e excited to have that many Pokemon with you? Incidentally, if you check your Pokedex, you'll see how many Pokemon you found and how many you've caught. Don't talk to me about the Pokedex, Charon. I'm off to Accumulatown. The professor's waiting. Next transceiver is ringing. Asprey picked up the X-transceiver. Hello, how is everybody doing? You and your Pokemon are getting along great now, right? Oh, Professor. Right now I'm in front of Accumulatown's Pokemon Center. I'd like to show you around, so hurry over, everyone. Okay, the Pokemon Center, right? Hey, see ya. Well, I'm going on ahead. Let's get this over with. Ah, Asprey, there you are. Traveling with your Pokemon is truly one of the joys of being a trainer. Please follow me. I'd like to show you the most important place for a trainer to know. Good old Yanova and its long intro. This is a Pokemon Center. Don't you feel better as soon as you step through the door? Hey, let's start your tour. From behind, Juniper looks like she has the poop head. Ooh, wait for me. A Jimmy Neutron hair. 
Pokemon Center is a truly incredible place. Do you know why? Because your Pokemon can be healed. And what's more, it's absolutely free. Pokemon Center is a trainer's best friend. Hey, Asprey, give it a try. Okay. Heal me up. I appreciate the chat can still be so active after I gotta stop for a bit. Oh, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep, like, harping on it, but still. You're all good bears, like little cup chew in the corner. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Okay, now that your Pokemon's rested, I'll show you how to use the PC. That's a PC. It's free for any trainer to use. You can store Pokemon in the boxes or select Pokemon stored in your PC boxes to take with you. In addition, if you catch a new Pokemon when you have six traveling with you, the Pokemon you caught is sent automatically to the PC. Surprising, isn't it? Amazing, even. Here's something else that's cool. If you select my PC, I'll evaluate the progress you've made on your decks. Professor? It says someone's PC. Who's someone? Very good, Bianca. That's a great observation. Gold star. Good question, and I'd like to say more, but for now, just ignore that and go ahead and use the PC. Someone is the person who made the storage system. Someone I'm sure you'll meet someday. Okay, let's move on. Blaze Black Redux is for Black 2. Yeah, that's the wrong game there. This is the Pokemart. This is the place to buy useful items and sell the ones you don't need anymore. That gentleman over there is, yeah, will help you with a smile. So, let's wrap this up. I've given you the basics of being a trainer. I'm going to head back to Nuvema Town. Nuvema Town, Nuvema Town, whatever you want to say. One final thing. When you get to Striaton City, go and meet an inventor named Fennel. She's a friend of mine from long ago, and I'm sure she'll help you along your way. Best of luck, I hope that your journeys prove to be the adventure of a lifetime. Is she gone? Thank goodness she's gone. Ooh, what should I buy? Potions and Pokeballs are definitely important. Um, thinking... You goober. Why don't I buy some Pokeballs now? I'm gonna need about ten of those boys. Yes. You also get a Premier Ball as an added bonus. Anything else? No. The Mart Tech seemed a little bit slow. Is it by fast? No, it's not on fast by default, but it seemed like it was already set to that. Try that. Let's go. Now we gotta deal with this. Sounds like someone's something's going on in the plaza. Well, let's have a little look-see. Sure it'll be great. Hey, Asprey, come here for a sec. It's Mr. Not Evil whose sprite is like twice the size of everyone else. My name is Getsis. I'm here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume this is the truth? I'm pretty sure the bears want to be friends with me. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, look, look at the look at the bear with the hot cocoa right now. He wants to be here. Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they're our partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence there's no truth to what I'm saying? Yikes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility towards these wonderful beings called Pokemon? That's right, we must liberate the Pokemon. Then, and only then, we humans and Pokemon will truly be equal. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon, and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. Plot twist? Getsis has that coat because underneath, he's a it's actually like three Cleffas in a trench coat. They're just standing on top of each other to give the appearance of a tall human. What about that speech? What do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible. Oh boy. Now Mr. N wants to talk. 
Your Pokemon. Just now it was saying. Slow down. You talk too fast. It's just about Pokemon talking. That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is N. My name's Charon. This is Asprey. Let me turn it up a tad. Oop. N's music just sounds evil. We were asked to complete the decks, and we just left on our journey. My main goal is to become the champion, though. The Pokedex, eh? So you're gonna confine many, many Pokemon and Pokeballs for that, then. I'm a trainer, too, but I can't help wondering. Are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, Asprey, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. Yeah. His voice says contrary. I'm deal with it. He's got three Pokemon? Oh, he doesn't just have that level 7 Purloin anymore. Well. Let's hit with Vine Whip. Cleverhound and Kata is weak to fire and water, but neutral on grass. Uh-oh. More, let me hear the voice of your Pokemon. I might be in trouble. Bug bite. Oh, I'm getting slaughtered, aren't I? Oh, man. He's gonna... He's actually just gonna take me out here. Clearly was not prepared. Well, go to Pidgey. I want to hope I could get a crit there. Let's go with the Gust. He's going Harden. I wanted to believe Snivy could just sweep through it, but he knows what he's doing. Welcome to Blaze Black. I know, it took me a while to get in here. The line was longer than Disney World. Should have switched in Pidgey sooner, I know, but it's fine now. Mankey. You know what? Pidgey can keep doing this. Level six. Scratch, that's all you got? Pidgey MVP right now. Whatever, this gets us closer to Pidgeotto. Yeah, you get that, level eight. Purloin, okay, there's the last one. We may as well let the Pidgey keep slaughtering for now. I don't think it ends like evil. I think his music just makes it sound like he's really evil. It has like sinister undertones to the, to the melody. Assist? Uh-oh. Low kick. Turns out just catch a Pidgey and you're okay here. Ooh, nice, there's my crit. The sprites can look a little crusty blown up on the big screen, can't they? Luck? Oh yeah, we'll take that. Hang on, does Razor Wind... You know, we don't even... Def we definitely don't need Tackle. 5100, 6100. Gust is special. Yeah, that's why it was able to hit through him there. Razor Wind is also special. I'm never going to use this, let's be real. Just get rid of it. I never expected to hear Pokemon say such things. The Pidgey said, get wrecked, get beamed, get moomed on, ratio. As long as Pokemon are confined in Pokeballs, Pokemon will be not be free. I hit the button twice. I have to change the world for Pokemon because they're my friends. I, you don't see me changing the world for Teddy Ursus. Hmm, strange guy, but I'm not going to worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Striaton. Aim to battle gym leader after gym leader. That's the best way for a trainer to become stronger, is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. Oh, there he goes. I can't run yet. I believe I get the running shoes shortly. But let's just get in here and heal, and then use my bike to get around. We're gonna do it. We're actually playing the video game. 
It's nice when we get to this part. Oh, I need a drink. Excellent. Don't mind me. Just streamer going back to being your background noise for the day. Perfect. Now, are there any new items from people to acquire? Beautiful scenery and relaxing sounds. Oh man, I sure do love this place. Am I less stressed now? Uh, I'm good now. I was getting a little bit grumpy when the save data deleted itself, but who wouldn't? Shall I play my favorite tune? Sure. Please listen to my music. Bum, bum, bum. You wanna listen to my drum? My heart, as long as my heart beats. I'll keep on drumming. Heck yeah. Now yeah, we got the whole music going. Now I can't use the bike. This town at least has a couple of buildings for people to live in. On Route 2, many trainers train their Pokémon by having them battle. Guess what I know? I know Pokémon can remember four moves at a time. Doesn't look like any of the NPCs here are any different. Any held items to get? Weak Pokémon, strong Pokémon, cool Pokémon, cute butt Pokémon. Many Pokémon look forward to meeting you, especially bears. Wow, you got that great bag that can store anything. Why don't you buy a lot of potions? No thanks. Piano set and a drum set in the same room. Yeah. Alright, let's head over here for now. Maybe someone gives you a Pokeball there? I don't remember. First, I want the running shoes. Watching the information changing on the electric bulletin board. Makes me happy. I find it so soothing. Doesn't the DS clock only go up to, like, 2030? Not gonna be able to keep up soon in a few more years. X transceiver is ringing. Hey! It's your mom! How are things? Are you and your Pokémon getting along and enjoying your adventure so far? I need to talk to you, so I called you, but I'm going to hang up the X transceiver now. Asprey? finally caught up to you, and look how far you've come already. Professor Juniper said that you were probably headed to Striaton by now. I have another present for you. I received a pair of running shoes. When you're wearing the running shoes, you can go anywhere in a flash. Let me read you the instructions. Hold B to run faster. Put the running shoes on to tear around your heart's content. Or that's what it says. I read it wrong, but that's what it says. I bought these a long time ago and stashed them away. I found them when I was cleaning. Guess it's good to clean occasionally. Asprey, you understand that you're never really alone, right? You're with Pokemon. You have friends. You're always in my thoughts. That's all right, then. Enjoy your trip. Battles between Pokemon trainers are serious affairs you can't run from. Serious affairs, they say. Got a potion. What's on this route, though? We gotta catch some more things. We had some delays, but we gonna catch some friends. Weedles! Didn't move. See, this is the benefit of playing this mod. You don't get to see the animated sprites in Gen 5 for most things outside of Yanova. Like, every Pokemon's fully animated, but you just never get to see it. Like, why would you ever want to see Weedle in post-game? Also, level 8, damn. Ouch. Okay, then. Immediately. Getting booped by frickin' Weedle. Weedle's level 8 on this route. Dixagoon hasn't found an item. Let's let Pidgey rock this. Yeah. Yeah, it just hit me with Poison Tail. Isn't that fun? It's Weedle, for crying out loud. Okay. Let's just try a tackle. I don't want to kill it. Every Pokemon's rebalanced. They can be better, they can have more moves, they can have new types. And we're here to catch all 649 of them. Let's throw this. That's pretty interesting, though. Weedle with Poison Tail. Two. Three. Oop. Oh, perfect. And now, we update to five. Counter going up is going to be a fun little thing to have on a side. 
I spent a lot of time getting this set up yesterday, which is why I was extra salty about the technical difficulties. I'll never shut up about it because I'm upset. I'm upset, okay? Feel bad for me. It eats its weight and leaves every day. It fends off attackers with a needle on its head. A hairy bug Pokemon. Okay. Okay. No nickname. It's not- yeah, this is like a difficulty mod with the National Dex available. Well, Pokemon in the National Dex available. Zigzagoon still doesn't have that. Let's go back to the center. Damn it. Wormpole's also here. Let's run. Need to go back and heal. Almost missed the whole stream. Don't worry, you're not too late, Lilac. Um, I may as well mention it again for the fifth, like, the fifth time. Um, after I did, like, all of the tutorial intro story, I tried to activate something for the mod, and it just deleted the save data, so what followed was a bunch of technical difficulties and me restarting. And now we're set up. I recorded the intro, though, so don't worry. I didn't have to sit there and read all that out loud again. Hope to see you again. You're free now from work? Excellent. Awesome time now. Am I misremembering, but... Did, uh... Did the black and white characters always have that little shadow around their head? When they're trying to stand around out of some stuff? Like, look at that. There's a shadow... There's, like, gray shadow pixels surrounding me. But over here... No. Shadows around me? No shadow. Was that always a thing? Huh. I need to catch 644 more. Yeah, you've never noticed that? I just noticed it right now, yeah. Um, Pidgey would be good for slaughtering things here. Opie kind of has a bit of a disadvantage being a grass type at the start, but it's gonna... It has Contrary and can learn Leaf Storm, so it'll be an absolute beast later. Let me check Pidgey's nature. Big Pex, protects Pokemon... Uh, defense lowering attacks. Defense lowering attacks. Well, anyways, nature was naughty, so it gets attack boost, special defense minus. Not bad. Okay. I can still read the entries of things I catch. However, when I evolve into something, I can't physically look it up, so chat can just post it for me to look at. So I can read it out loud. Okay, Spiro. Good thing I didn't have Snivy up front for that one. Let's give it a pluck. Pursuit. What normally unlocks the national decks? Um, a post-game check. After you beat the Elite Four, I believe. Let's try to get that Pursuit. Perfect. Lower the volume a tad. Again, let me know. How's audio, chat? Good? Quiet? I almost hit run. Let's throw a Pokeball at him. One, two, three. Oh. Excellent. Spiro's data was added to the Pokedex. It flaps its small wings busily to fly. Using its beak, it searches in grass for prey. Oh, we already got a use usable bird type, so let's put you away. And that right there is the sixth Pokemon we caught. The number six comes after the number five. I know. Magic we're only learning about here. Maybe Snivy can fight the trainer up here. Maybe I can remember that that was the B button. <laughs> I just closed it down. Counting with me. Right. A trainer catches another trainer's eye. This is the start of a Pokemon battle. Now let's see what he's got instead of one Patrat. You think we could find Teddy Ursus early on? That'd be awesome. There's Hoots. Hoots. 
Unfortunately, a grass type versus a flying type is not the best thing. I need to depend on this Pidgey right now, jeez. We have a berry. Hey, Foresight. This is good. Snivy will at least hit level 8, finally. Hoot Hoot has down. There you go. Imagine the Hoot Hoot had Air Cutter. Oh, that would suck. Okay, now there's a Patch Rat. Boopy should be okay to hit this with this. Fine Whip, I mean. I don't know if I really have a favorite, you know, of a starter, no. You know, the starters are just kind of there for me. Tackle. Snivy looks like he's ready to have some fun. If Hoot Hoot had extra sensory, which it probably could, because it's like an egg move, isn't it? It should be, anyway. There we go. Wormpole. Okay, then. Hmm. Maybe let the Weedle do it so it can evolve. Try this. It's level 8 anyway. Here we go. Hey, Jimmy. Just casual Poison Tail. On Weedle. Can't poison me. Too strong. It helps that Snivy has its freaking hidden ability. Thank you, Sabers Bro, for the resub there. Appreciate it, everyone. That's another thing that makes me feel bad. Like earlier, um, when people gift a bunch of subs and it's immediately followed by, oops, sorry guys, the game isn't working. <laughs> that makes me feel horrible. Anyways. Okay, we won that battle. What's Weedle's experience bar looking like? Zigzagoon's not getting anything. Next trainer will probably be tricky, too. So let's do this. Let's see if we can catch another thing in this grass. Luck. Yeah, Wurmple's pure bug, but it can evolve into a poison type with Dust Talks. Just use the bike. And thanks for gifting another sub there. Everybody's giving gifts. Ooh, puppy! Let's get it. Give it a pluck first. Luciana's Gen 5 sprite is so cute. Look at the big little eye. Critical hit. Well then. I am gonna try and keep a balanced party if I can. This isn't the type of game where you can just spam the starter and win, right? Ah, uh, broke out. Going to hell. Fine, it's only Puchiana. Three. Oop. Number seven has been acquired. Let's go ahead and add that number. You'll love to see it, Teddy Nation. You'll love to see it. Pokemon with a persistent nature, it chases its chosen prey until the prey becomes exhausted. What if it's just trying to play? Can you imagine Poochyena just chasing down Teddies until they get tired? That'd be awful. I wonder if I should take it along. A Pokemon with Bite would be okay. Maybe I should check if it has any of the elemental fangs. Oh, Caterpie. Luciana's got Runaway because it's fast. I may be at low health. So are you. Snore? What? That's a move it has, apparently. 
There's a lot of Pokemon to find at the start, so these pages should fill up for a little bit. Okay, number eight. Show us what we got. Again, chat, this is going to be a long playthrough. We're not going to finish this in like a week or two. This is going to be a nice, long... Oh, geez. I accidentally just hit my volume slider and, bla and just absolutely like blasted myself there. Oh, that was so loud. I thought I adjusted your guys' slider, though. That would have been real upsetting. It releases a stench from its red antenna to repel enemies. It grows by molting repeatedly. Update to the counter. Now let's go back. Go back and heal and all that. Now as I say, and yeah, this is going to be a long playthrough, so get comfy. We're going to chip away at it a little bit at a time. Enjoy the game, catch some mons. I said for a while, for years now, that I really wanted to play a Gen 5 hack that lets you use not Gen 5 Pokemon. Since in Black 1 and White 1, you really are just locked to the Unova decks until post-game, which has very mixed uh, reception. Okay. Taking a look at what we got currently. Hmm, you know what? Maybe we should swap the Spearow and Ratata so we don't have too many doubles. Zigzagoon needs to level up, though. We need coverage on Route 1, or Route 2, I should say. Someone's PC. Let's go to move. Tackle, Howl, Bug Bite, Snore. Why does Poochiena have no item? Oh, it has Modest Nature? Of course it does. Of course it does. Blah. Well, can't choose how you're born. We'll just take you like that for now. We'll go with that. Poor puppy. He's trying his best. Cupchu believes in the best, though. Cupchu is sipping some cocoa for all of you. We'll do with what we got. Um, The next trainer battle I could lead with Zigzagoon. This is also level 8. Maybe Lenik in a fight. There's a patch rat. Is this my first? It is. Damn. Alright, puppy, let's go. Hunt that rat down to the ends of the earth. Critical hit. Attaboy. Look at, look at the little sprite. Look at the little puppy wiggle. So many things. What kind of team I want to use? Eh, it depends on what's available. I'll probably be keeping the Snivy for the long, uh, long going, yeah, part of the game though. Using food stored in cheek pouches, they can keep watch for days. They use their tails to communicate with others. Why are the rats patrolling? What are they guarding? What are they looking for? When your Pokemon doesn't have enough energy, just walk on the road. I really love Pokemon battles. As my cute Pokemon will do its best in a really cute way. I don't think anyone really wants to use the elemental monkeys, no. Has anyone ever said, oh boy, I can't wait to use Simisir by the end of the game? Some of them probably have, and some of them are- they're very wrong. Blitzel's like after the first gym though, right? Let's go. Puppy can do it. Uh-oh, maybe not. Keep going. Trainer battle, we can't catch it. Oh, puppy's down. I tried. Hang on. 
Can you... I wonder if I could just survive one hit and take it out. I want to do that. Yes, he fell for it. This will give Zigzagoon the levels it needs. you love to see it. Puppy helped. What do you think Obstagoon would be like if they made a normal version of it outside of Galar? Instead of a rock star, would it just be like a tall badger with like a regular guitar? I'd like that. Instead of... And the obstone in its name would be Obstacle, as in like that guy playing guitar in the street that's always in the way. See, I'm a genius. Game Freak should hire me. Okay, for Pidgey... Um... You know what? Um... I'll, I'll keep in Zigzagoon for a moment here. And then just switch in my Pidgey. Get Tail Whip. It would be a boring businessman, Larry's signature Pokemon. Okay. If Game Freak hired me, when you would you still get comfy bear streams? Of course. Probably. Although, let's be real. If Game Freak hired me, do you think they'd still let me play mo Pokemon mods? I don't think they would. I think I'd be fired immediately. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's go for the pluck. Nice. N. They came to me, so I get to set the terms. Hmm. I mean, yeah, that's right. Toby, Toby Fox <laughs> made Earthbound hacks. And he literally got to make the poke like the music in um, Scarlet and Violet, right? That's that's a very good retort to what I'm saying. You're you're telling me. Excellent. Speaking of like Toby Fox, I actually like the other day I finally uh, heard Undertale music for the first time, and now I actually want to play Undertale. Although I'm still going to play Earthbound, like I promised. I don't know if I should stream Undertale, though, because that seems like it would be backseating hell at this point. Let's go Poison Tail. Let's do it. I'm seeing all caps responses. Yes, play Undertale. Don't stream it, no. Maybe I could do it as an off-stream recording. Caterpie? Let's fight. It would be super backseated, I know. Like, jeez, isn't that game, like, almost 10 years old? Play it, but do not stream. I mean, remember, though, I plan on playing Earthbound and Mother 3 for the first time on stream. Those might be a little back CD, but I made it through Mother 1. I should be okay. Chat emote only mode, possibly. Let's do it. Five Nights at Freddy's turns 10 this year. Oh, man making me feel old. I remember like watching uh, Markiplier play those games when they were new. Oh, I played Hollow Knight. I had that on the channel, but it got like uh, nuked by copyright. Okay. Weedle's evolving. So let's go ahead and update the counter to nine while this happens. Excellent. Perfect. Oh boy. Let's take... Yeah, I didn't... Well, it can't really do anything, but it still has Poison Tail, right? Of course it can't, like, unlearn that. Oh, it has Battle Armor. What's everyone's natures? Let's get disappointed. The Spiro has... Of course it has Calm. I'm not gonna reset for a better one. This is the Pokedex run. I'm doing this. Snivy is serious with contrary. Pidgey has a decent one. Zigzagoon is neutral. It still hasn't picked up anything though. And unfortunately, modest Poochie. Yay. 
If you do stream it, please do emote only mode. Okay. Hang on. Let me get into a battle right quick before I run back to the center. Purloin. We should catch this. Chat seems pretty chill. Yeah, for the most part. Let's see here. Um, hang on. I'll switch. Or you know what? We're catching this and going to the center, so let's just bop it. Hydrate. Don't mind if I do. Excellent. Chat, for the most part, is chill, but I'm... But listen, I'm still human. I, I still... I can get grumpy with chat every now and then. In fact, I remember I actually want to replay Banjo-Kazooie. Because I remember the time I tried to stream that, and a lot of people were backseating it, like, very badly, and I was clearly getting a little frustrated with it at times. Let's see. Do that. Let's do that. Excellent. Alrighty, we caught that, so let's update it to 10. Making more progress faster than I thought. Saying a lot after that hour of issues. Oh. They steal from people for fun. Their victims can't help but forgive them. Their deceptively cute act is perfect. Devious. Nickname? Nah, send it to the PC. Excellent. There is an option to kind of limit chat for a little bit. That, like, you have to be following for a certain amount of time, but I don't like to really do that. Most of the time, if someone can cause an issue, like, it could be someone who's been here for weeks and they just decide to be randomly rude. That does happen. Kind of annoying. I try not to, like, you know, moan and groan about it too much for, like, the YouTube audience's sake. Because YouTube can't see chat, which I prefer that way for the videos. But, like... It's weird when the streamer, like, has to, like, argue with or talk to someone in chat to tell them to stop being weird. It just makes it awkward for everyone. Perfect. Let's go. I did heal, right? Oh no, I'm questioning if my autopilot brain... Okay, it did. Still no... none of that. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, I need to, like, think of, like, signals for mods sometimes. Me. Boop, 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 boop. Sometimes people don't necessarily mean it, but they can be weird, and it, I have to awkwardly shut it down. Do that. For YouTube viewers, chat is the imaginary friend. This should be safe to fight. Oh, wait, it has bug bite. Actually, I should just go ahead and switch. Well, I can't tell you the signal now, otherwise everyone will know what it is. Do it on Discord. Excellent. Perfect. Let's see. Struggle bug. Ooh. Okay, that's different. I could just change a bear, change to a different bear for as a signal. Oh really? That like that's not a giveaway. He put a certain bear on screen, and everyone gets banned. Excellent. Now, there's been been times like that in the future, like, uh... Hold up. Okay, I only got a little bit from that. That's kind of nothing. Like, someone will be here for, like, months, then all of a sudden, one day, they'll just be, like, really freaking weird and rude. And it'll be like, well, they gotta go now. Song on. I sound petty when I make it vague like that, but I don't want to give, like, uh, a weird, specific example. Like I just said. Come on. Lillipup, go, my Lillipup, go. Puppies. Let's do it. Vague posting. Oh, yeah, that is a term people do, ain't, ain't it? Let's get that puppy. Let's do that. The ban bear. That is a thing. I don't have any fighting moves. Hmm. You know, actually, I could use Poison Tail with this and take some damage. My puppy's modest, so it's a little weak. It's smelling me. Usually when a puppy smells you, that's a good thing, though. It's trying to get to know you. Do it. Perfect. 
I think to a degree, if you like, if you watch Twitch streams regularly or frequently, we've all kind of seen that one person that at, that out of nowhere will just ask like weird personal questions, and they can't pick up on the fact that the streamer is intentionally ignoring them. If the streamer doesn't want to outright be like, yeah, that's weird, dude. Stop saying that. Excellent. Little pup is down. All he did was smell me. He didn't attack. Cricketots. Um... It's only Cricketots. I could let Zigzagoon try and take it out. You see, that happens so much. I know what you mean, right? It's weird. It's so weird. Tackle. Excellent. Attack fell, that's okay. Because it's only Crick Tot. Special attack fell. We can't do anything. If we just keep bopping him, we can't do anything. Rogobug will do some damage, I guess. Bug bite. What is everyone's credit cards? No, 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 no. Oh, all right, let's do it. 91. And Weedle's coming out, so I'm just gonna go ahead and switch from here. Swap to that. Um... Yeah, I'll let Pidgey do it again. I gotta get... I gotta get experience for the Spearow as well, but... Pidgey and Snivy are kind of my um, go-to aces at the moment. Uh-oh. Damn. Weedle is always getting those poisons now with that. It's nice that I gotta use multiple mons, though. It's nice. It's great! Get plucked. Get beaned. Seven. Yep. Poison touch Weedle. He boops you. You're poisoned. Is that a Badoof? The Canadian Beaver Pokemon, native to Japan, Sinnoh region. I always wanted to see one of those. Hmm. Getting Beedrill would actually be pretty good right now, so let's do that. I can't believe I'm saying this out loud, but Weedle comes with Poison Tail, so it's actually kind of nice to have right now. Yeah. Look, look at the Beaver hop up and down! I've never seen his Gen 5 animations. Look at that. He's doing a little skip. By golly, the muffin face is here. But, see, this is what's cool about Gen 5. Every Pokemon's animated, but you don't get to see like 99% of them. Unless you transfer them and use them in post game. Poison Tail, I guess. Critical hit. I got battle armor, so can't be poisoned. Boing, boing. Chat, would you pet the beaver? Would you? Your Pokemon uses those kinds of moves? I know, I'm surprised too. It's not smart to bite a be uh, pet a beaver IRL, though, I gotta tell ya. Come on, Asprey. Beavers, if they bite you, their teeth are going into you, and it's... Oh, oh their teeth are freaking long. You do not want those things biting you, let me tell you. Hey, listen, let's have a Pokemon battle. Please, the Pokemon I caught have become a little stronger. Ready or not, here I come. Chat can have a little ooh, -oo Bianca is a treat. For those that have no idea what the hell I'm going on about, in an older black and white playthrough... I did all of Bianca's dialogue in an Ulu voice, and people loved that, and other people absolutely hated it. Um, and because this is part one of a big new series, I don't want to scare away the new YouTube viewers that clicked on this out of curiosity. You see here. Not right now. I can't scare them. First, let's try a tackle. She got me out and fake out. Please, Ulu. Go. Give it a boop. Both my Pokemon and I are gonna give it our all. More, more. I'm 
poison too, damn it. Let's do it. I can't have the YouTube viewers thinking I'm that cringe. Ah, darn it. Well, I'm gonna go for it now. I flinched? Oh, that's lame. Well then. It's up to the poison Pidgey to do it now. I need the save Snivy for Oshawott. I shouldn't have switched. I didn't expect that flinch. Cratch. Fun. Pretty much dead now. Wait, she used a potion? You scum. Who cares? Chat wants ooh woo. Too bad I don't have quick attack. Let the Spearow finish it now. Chat demands Uwu. Uwu, what's this? Oh, it's going growl. Yonka's not even talking right now. There's nothing to Uwu. Okay, Spearow gets a little bit. Oshawott. Let's see. Yeah, just send in Boopy for this. Route 2 is making us work for it. This is fun. This is why it's going to take a while to make progress. Okay, this little one's up next. Oh, I didn't say it, Nuwu. There needs to be a solid word that I can uwu eyes. Like, please. Or sawi. It's Whittle One. You're right, I could have done that there. I didn't even take that Oshawa down in half. No cone baby's coming for me. Uh-oh. Am I in trouble? There you go. You want more? That's gonna be 50 bucks a pop. That bear looks comfy. Damn right it does. Oopy learned rap. Aw, I could win. I can't oo-wise that very well. Ooh woo! You're one tough cookie, ass boy. I'm gonna work hard on my training to my Pokemon so we won't lose no more. Okay, bye bye. Okay, there you go. Someone gave 10 gift subs earlier. That's true. <laughs> You're right. You're right. That was before the tech issues. That's what I was talking about feeling bad for. Made the Striton. Okay, looking at early the earlier footage I recorded earlier. I've got like, I've been playing for like an hour and a half total. Not bad. I'm gonna keep going for a while though. Hang on, is my Pokedex right? Did I keep updating properly? Uh-oh. Oh, great. Because I don't have the National Dex unlocked, it's only gonna count Unova Pokemon. Okay then. I hope I don't miscount along the way. When I get the National Dex unlock anyway, it will... We'll know for sure. It says six because only Unovamons are being counted. Let's get some stuff. Pokemon can be found in water too. That's when a dive ball can do the trick. Here's ten for ya. Ooh, ten dive balls. My man. Dive Ball works well with aquatic Pokemon. Plus, the name is excellent. The Dive Ball. Dive. Ooh. Die. Hang on. Anything else? Yeah. X Speed. I will never use this. He usually gives, like, one Dust Ball, right? Now, there is the Team Plasma fight and trainer battles up ahead. Before that, maybe I should go ahead and just quickly check the grass. There might be a couple things I haven't caught yet. Maybe at Route 1. Oh, well, you know what I probably could have found there? Sentret. There's a Spearow. Man. Everything being at this level on Route 2 is a little scary. Aw, oh, poor puppy. I'll be trying their best here, okay? My team has a bit of a glaring weakness to, uh, 
flying types, didn't they? Hang on. Let me send in the Pidgey for this to clean it up. I only have so many Pokeballs, so... I'll have to wait. Big Pex. Fuck. I can't catch every single thing. Once I can buy Quick Balls, that's when the real progress is going to start getting checked. I want Poochie to get a level. Meowth is here. Guess that makes sense since Bianca had one. I should really be checking Zigzagoon, but it hasn't pulled anything yet. And the YouTube comments can also keep track and count. In fact, yes, you should comment about that. It gives me more engagement. Always with the engagement. Do another one. Save the dive balls for water types when they show up. I love seeing all the animated sprites. It's nice. It does look kind of weird on my big monitor, though, still. Yeah, Technician would be good on Meowth. Honestly, at this point, Meowth would be a better bite user than Poochie. Hang on a second. Pokemon has been caught. We must update number 11. Do, 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 do. It is nocturnal in nature. If it spots something shiny, its eyes glitter brightly. Ooh. Meowth is a cat. You'll keep a list after each YouTube bot until we get the decks. Or, sorry, the national decks. Thank you. But you don't have to do that. I tried to be all professional and prepared. Like, I even prepared a little counter graphic. But, of course, you know, something had to go wrong there. Not a big deal. Let's do it. Pochi, gain a level already. I'm begging you. That's all I want. Go and growl. Problem. I'm gonna vine whip. 649 is a lot. And I mean a lot of things. What? I almost went to the Pokeball for some reason. We're not catching this. We already caught it. Crit. Level 9. No special attack, and it has modest nature. Doesn't even have bite. Zigzagoon, did you pick up anything yet? It did. Potion. Make it. Maybe we get, should give you some levels. I feel like the Poochiena should get replaced. Let's check the Meowth's moves, actually. Bottle load in. Let's do it. You notice the shadow around me and the nurse? That little gray shadow to make us stand out. Oh, because of the giant monitor, I see that now. Now then, let's go ahead and pick this up. Move, Pokemon. Meowth, ha Meowth has bite, but it... It has technician, too. Yeah, this thing is getting used over Poochie. I'm sorry. I love the puppy, but Meowth is just better right now. Hmm... Technician works on 60... Move 60 power and below, correct? Old nature is attack minus defense plus. Man, my natures are pretty sucky today. Oh well. What about the other Pokemon? What do they have? You've got bite and quick attack. Of course you do. And you have lonely nature. You're also modest, but you also have bite. Dude, Pokemon need to give up the modesty today. Careful nature, scratch growl assist. Hmm. Let's go. Now let's make sure that everything is working fine and make a quick save. Saving, don't turn off the power. Ugh, pardon me. The Purloin had Prankster? Oh, did it? Okay. 
Hold up, I should probably talk to the boy here. You looking for the gym leader? He's not here. Could be at the trainer's school. If you want to challenge him, please go find him. First, let's fight some trainers in the dream yard. We're gonna have to battle Charon. Yeah, let the Zig Zagoon and Meowth go for a little bit. We, we are training here. Now let's train Pokemon together. Let's do it. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Last Airy. Sentret, Johto Squirrel. I believe you can catch Sentret on Route 1, which means you technically can have a Furret on, um, Accumulatown. It's level 10. It's probably gonna quick attack me. I wanna go ahead and see if I can get to level 10 with B and get Beedrill, because that might be a decent Pokemon for at least the first gym. Look how happy it is. It's not bopping up and down like a Bidoof, though. Darn, I was really hoping to get a poison on that. He spe oh no, he quick attacked last turn, that's why. Let's go. I wonder if the gym leader will have, like, Pokemon of their actual type? Because before it's just Lillipup and, um... Just Lillipup and one of the elemental monkeys. So we'll see. Man, I am not getting that poison. Fight. Fine, take me out. See if I care. Brett. Wow. I had all the rolls in the world, and none of them panned out. Okay, then. It's buffed its defense a bunch, so let's just finish it with Gust. Jerk. Sixty five. Starly. Oh, Starly's here too. Gust is special? Yeah, that's what I said. They buffed their defense, so I want to use a special move. Um. I don't really have much for flying types, do I? Hmm. They're already down. You can just let Zigzagoon bop at it for a, for a bit. Ugh. I don't really have anything for super effective damage to fire types. We'll see. Maybe there's something in the dream yard grass we can catch. Pidgey's not really a special attacker, but Mega Pidgeot can be, right? Man. These dudes are relentless right now, aren't they? Ah. Okay, I'm just gonna have to send in Pidgey to clean this up. I feel like I should go fight Charon first. He's probably going to have Pokemon I can actually fight. Lord. Maybe they expect me to go to the gym first. Take a peek for more items on the side, too. I don't think there's Mega Forms in this game. I'm pretty sure the first version of this hack literally came out before Gen 6 even released. 11. Oh, nice. There's Quick Attack. Um, no reason to take that over Tackle, right? Oh, right. Tackle has more damage. I guess we don't... I guess I'll get rid of Tackle anyway, because if I want Stab, I'll just use Pluck. Do it. Skitty! There's Skitties in this game, too. Okay, then. Hmm... Maybe just let Boopy get the experience, because I feel like I need my two top Pokemon to be able to take hits and switch in. It's M time. Ooh, look at it. Look at it bop around. I did have M for a while, so I did see animated Skitty. Poor Skitty. No one ever used one in Gen 3. Ever. The Moonstone was too damn far away. 
when you can get it. I don't know if you can get it with pickup, though. That might have been one way to exploit it. You catch it to the side of Rustboro and evolves by Moonstone, which you don't find until much, much later. Or you catch it from a Wild Lunatone. I'm not sure if it's in the pickup table, though. Azumarill? You know what? Keep it in. Oh, no, I forgot. This is later Azuril, where it looks horrified to exist. Yeah, what did Azuril see? What? What? Sap Sipper? Is that new, or is that something it just kind of has? <laughs> okay. The whole world is like, oh, you picked grass? You're gonna regret that, buddy. It's Azumarill's hidden ability. Of course it is. Well then, I'll hit it with a Leer and Spam Tackle. Oh, it's going Charm. Man. Did a Cleffa hurt it? You think Cleffas would do that? They just bully the little mouse? Evolution Stones are later in the pickup table. True, however, you have to remember that the pickup table is only based on level and emerald version. In Ruby and Sapphire, um, like, it's one solid table no matter what level you are. So you can get, like, full restores and ultra balls at the start of the game if you want. Great, you have a talent as a trainer. Emerald version added a lot of, like, little hidden details that, uh, became relevant for every game after. I think the TM for Earthquake is also in the Ruby and Sapphire pickup table. So you could catch a Zigzagoon at the start of the game in Ruby and Sapphire and just randomly pick up a, a TM for Earthquake if you're lucky. In Emerald's table, you can get Moonstones, but only if the pickup Pokemon's level 41 onwards. Cool. Charge your Pokemon to full health. In, in Fire Red and Leaf Green, it's not based on level, but the pickup table is garbage because it's mostly just berries. Let's see. And randomly, like, the TM for Hidden Power. Got a great ball. I think the pickup table is the is also that way in, um... Hang on a second. Coliseum and XD. I think XD uses Emerald's table, actually. Do you know how technical machines work? A TM can instantly teach a move to a Pokemon. You can use it over and over. How cool is that? Hmm. There's hidden items here. Also, look at the Pikachu hedges. Got them. Except that's a pit of. Not that. Nobody wants that. You don't seem to have any badges. Get out of here, dork. Here's some friendly advice. Challenge a leader. Hmm. Take a look here. I guess we can go fight Charon like this. I don't think this Meowth is getting used after all. Charon's gonna bop me. When a Pokemon's poisoned, its HP decreases while battling. Hey, Asprey, have you come looking for the leader? Yes. He was here talking about Pokemon types until a few moments ago. Maybe you walked right past him. By the way, will you have a battle? I want to test how important items are. Maybe I should test how well I can battle without items. Anyway, this is an indoor match, so let's battle without getting too rough. Let's go. Challenged by Pokemon Trainer Charon. Uh-oh, he's got Starly. Right off the bat, we're not in a good spot, huh? Maybe I should Tail Whip it, switch into Pidgey? And then just, like, pluck it. Oh, God. He's, yeah, he's going... Zigzagoon is not ready for this. This is okay. Sacrifices must be made. Pidgey do it. He's going growl. Okay, he set us back to neutral, essentially. I couldn't find a Starly. Moves that never miss, moves that can attack first. There sure are a lot of different moves. 
Do you think if Bianca speaks in Uwu, we should give, like, Charon some funny, like, talk? We should give him that, like, deep voice ASMR guy. <laughs> no, I don't even want to pretend to try and do that in the mic. That sounds cringe. Alrighty. Kind of slowly drifting away from the microphone. Let me get closer. New York accent? <laughs> no. Okay, he's gonna obviously set me on fire, which is gonna suck. Hang on. The Growlum. Mmm, I could leer him with this. Set up for Pidgey. Let's try that. Number 15, Burger King Foot Lettuce. The last thing you want in your Pokemon battle is someone's foot fungus. But that's exactly what you might get. It's important to choose which items your Pokemon holds. Ugh. I need a drink after that. Give him the leer. Just stare at him real grumpily. Has anyone ever wondered what entries number 14 to 1 were on that list? I don't even know what that list was about. I just know what number 15 is. Let's get him. Go for the pluck. We're having bacon tonight, lads. Oh! Uh, I meant to do that. That was all part of my plan. Genius bear streamer strikes again. Outplayed, outskilled, outclassed. I see. Losing to you means I still have a lot to learn. 1200. So learning to use items well is definitely important. Oh, here, I'll give you this hidden machine. Did he always give me this? It contains cut. Hidden machines are invaluable for exploring, but it's hard to forget them after they've been learned it using the Dream Yard. Okay. No badges required for HMs in this game. There's the gym leader. I think I should just evolve Kakuna before I go into the gym. So let's heal and just go back down to the route. Usually you get it after the gym. Doesn't Fennel give it to you? Wait. I know why they gave it to me. They want me to go into the dream yard before the gym to train. That's why. They're telling me that, like, which one's going to be harder. I get ya. Now then. Oops, wrong way. Beat the level 10 person there. Still no pickups from Zigzagoon. We might find a Pokemon we missed, too. Uh, do you guys think I should go back to Route 1 and see if I can catch any extra Mons? Oh, there's Krikatot. Yes, yes, yes. Hold up. Before that. Oh, it's using Bide. Maybe I should go buy some Pokeballs. Really, I need a little bit more. Streams are comfy, streams are cozy. Did I stretch and hydrate? Oh, I'm sorry, did I miss a redeem? Let me do that. I'm gonna try again, it's only crooked tot. I should really just hit it with a poison tail. Yay! Number 12, coming right up. Da, 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 Its legs are short. Whenever it stumbles, it's stiff antennae clack with a xylophone-like sound. Bug acquired. Can Krikatoon even do anything? I feel like the whole reason the Pokemon exists is because they were really proud of the sounds they could make with cries on the DS. Let's get to level 10! Krikatoon is useless. Oh wait, Bug Bite would be super effective. Can give it X Scissor.
49. Okay. Let's run back to Route 1. Because there's clearly a few Pokemon I can still find there, I think. Now, all the shops are the same. They're based on gym badges, so I can just spend the money I got on some more Pokeballs. But what about this one? Oh, he's the male guy. Reply mail. Is that what all mail's for? Pokeball, that's all you got for me, friend. I'll just buy ten more and get another Premier Ball. Buy some scented mail. Why would I do that? I can't smell it. Is there teddy mail? If I could send people messages with a teddy on teddy bear stationery, I would do that all the time. Nobody used the mail feature. I don't know who they were fooling with that. Need smell vision. Oh, come on. One shot it. I'm looking for something I haven't caught yet. Add it to the list. One level will get me a Beedrill as well, which will probably be useful. Badoof! Hopping beavers. Yeah, look at that beaver. Look at it. Look at it and tell me there's something wrong with it. It hops. It has a muffin for a face. It's got everything. It's a water type when it evolves, but Dive Ball wouldn't boost it. Ultra Beaver. See, the tooth is the cupcake, like, base, and its nose is like a chocolate cupcake, and it... And the little tiny little... No, sorry, the snout is the chocolate part. The Its nose is the cherry on top. Badoof's data was added to the Pokedex. Alright, number 13. Good omens. You can see the muffin. You can see the muffin. Don't pretend you can't. Comparison revealed that... Oh, I clicked the thing, so I skipped it. <laughs> you can all read it. It was on screen. Muffin face is gone. Badoof acquired. Dex inspired. Another Pidgey. We got a better one. I don't think we're gonna bump into a shiny Pidgey. I could use Badoof for all my HM needs, yes. You don't need to worry much about HMs in Unova, though. Except for Cut at the start. It'll be like that time I caught a Teddy Ursa and then immediately ran into a shiny Teddy Ursa, and then I'm like, oh god, I need to use that one now. Boots! It's not even nighttime. How many Pokemon are on Route 1? Holy moly. Now I gotta catch this too. So many flying types, you have your whole choice. Although it seems like now I'm sticking with Pidgey. The encounter tables are huge for each route. Yeah. Which means we're gonna be busy on every route for a bit. Three. Oh. Progress made. Number 14 acquired. Do 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 do. What does the hoot say? It marks time precisely. Some countries consider it to be a wise friend versed in the world's ways. That's right. It's a hoot. Did you know if you change one letter of owl, it says oh whoa? Now you do. This has been fun hoot facts with me. Cool hoot facts right here. I don't think there's time specific encounters in Gen 5. I think there's season encounters. Maybe. Chat, would you pet a hoot? I, th I would. Get a bop. I just want to get a bee drill. Unfortunately, it was Gen 6 that gives you experience um, when you catch something. I really wish that was in this game. We don't have access to Audino yet.
All right, I want my bumblebee. Just clearly, I'm gonna need it. Number 15, bee drill. Boop, 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 do, do, do. You ready to rumble with the bumble? Gupchu looks very excited for it. Got some cocoa, of course it's happy. Fury attack? I mean, I'm pretty sure- I'm pretty sure Poison Tail is going to be better. But I don't need String Shot. Needra learn Fury attack- uh. <laughs> Okay! That's, uh... A little bit better. Cross poison. 70, 100, and critical hits land more easily. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should get rid of poison sting. Maybe. Maybe I still need this. What do you guys think? Now I'm gonna take a chance and get rid of poison sting. I think it's safe to get rid of it. Rage. I thought I was about to learn Megahorn or something, too. Now we don't need Rage. Three moves for one. Holy moly. Let's take a look at Beedrill. What's its type and all that? Ability? Anything new about it? Zigzagoon has still not picked up anything up. Okay, Bug Poison. It's hasty with a speed buff. That's okay. Poison Touch. That That's fine. That's honestly fine. So, if I were to use Cross Poison with Poison Touch, does that mean two separate rolls for Poison happen? If I'm understand how that works correctly. Attack is 25. Comparing that to... Iji, whose attack is 19 with a buff nature. Yeah, Beedrill will be okay for the first gym. I wonder if uh, Beedrill's BST has been increased. Uh, now that we've got that... Hmm, you're level 10. I think the Meowth should be changed with something. I'm not going to use the Meowth, clearly. Zigzagoon's my normal type. And it will kill something eventually, you'll see. And then you'll stop mocking it. The Owl has Adamant Nature. Oh, well, it doesn't really need that. Badoof has Tackle and Growl. Rickitot has Docile, Struggle Bug, Bug Bite. Careful, Prankster. It's a hoot, though. Can't really do anything with Adamant. It's like, Noctowl doesn't do anything except be there sometimes, unfortunately. Noctowl could use an evolution next gen. That'd be cool. Hmm. Yeah, these guys are just kind of dex filler at the moment. Oopsie. No. A variant would be cool for it too. But yeah, but we gotta have that classic hoot. Don't leave the classic hoot behind. If Primate can get an Evo after like a couple decades, Hoot Hoot can. Noctowl. Sparrow is also just kind of back up right now. Hang it. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna go back to the Dream Yard now. Along the way, let's see if we can get Zigzagoon a couple levels. I didn't heal at the center, I just checked the PC. Should be okay. Excellent. You know what's really funny? Do you know who became Fly- uh, do you know who became Psychic Flying before no before Noctowl did? Braviary. <laughs> Doesn't that upset you in some way? I feel like it should. Okay, let's just switch right quick. Take it easy. Let Zigzagoon do this. Remember that every time we win a battle, Zigzagoon has a chance of picking up an item, which could be useful for us. So we'll do it. Yeah, you could also just use Zatu if you want to psychic flying in Johto. Four Weedles. 
28 got me close to the line, so I'll switch again. Maybe let the Spiro pack this one. I thought Zatu was cool. I don't know how actually good it is, though. Spiro can be a good Pokemon for an early game, yeah. Mm, the rental one in Stadium 2 is nice. Real packs. Come on. Spiro gets a little bit. Zigzagoon gets a little bit more. Let's check for an item. Back in the days when Pokemon were lucky to get Stab. Nope, no item on Zigzagoon. I have caught 15 Pokemon in my first episode. Not bad. Now this thing has Bide, so it's probably not worth killing. That's right, we got a lot of teddies here in chat today. Lots of friends. Hold up, I just realized something. I need to teach Cut to someone. I may as well put it on the Meowth since I'm not using it. There's Pokemon in the Dream Yard we probably want to catch, too. Maybe something to replace? I don't think the Spearow's sticking around long-term. Once I get the experience share, I will be getting a bunch of Pokemon to, um... Yeah, kind of just have in the background while we train. There we go. You know what Ledian should get, actually? While you're talking about chat? Ledian deserves, like, an evolution... That makes it not die in one hit. Like, Ledian's whole point is that it's a defensive Pokemon that, like, can set the screens, but it has, like, the worst typing for any defensive Pokemon ever. Bug flying. Oh, gee whiz, there isn't, like, a whole checklist of things that can kill that. You see here... It's like, when you're choosing, like, a shield for your team, it's like, do, hmm, do I want the shield made out of metal, made out of stone, or do I want the cardboard shield? That's what Ledian is. It's a cardboard shield. Someone drew words on it, like reflect and light screen, and I'm sorry, but that doesn't make it good. Uh. Anyways, we got cut. Let's go to the Dream Yard. Do it. My Rattata is in the top percentage of Rattata. No, really. Actually, you know what? You know what's a better representation of a, she of cardboard shields? Every rock ground type, because you can just put water on it and it fades away, just like cardboard. Youngster Joey's got a Rattata now. We gotta be careful. Sadly, I can't out rat him. Hmm. Send in the boopy. I wish Zigzagoon would just learn a frickin' move so I could do more than tackle. Go for the Vine Whip. Focus Energy. Uh-oh. What? I avoided the attack. Good. Fight. Oh, man. Bite. And taken down. Holy moly, that's annoying. Maybe Zigzagoon can finish it off now. I shouldn't press that, no. Let the bee drill hit it. I need to just put Snivy up front for crying out loud. Ooh, look at those wings. They don't look quite right to me. They're they're flipping so fast, it's like oh, I don't like that. That's a little hard on the eyes. Never seen Beedrill's back sprite in this game. Looks like I'm holding down speed up, doesn't it? My Pokemon fought well, didn't they? Looks like they did the animation and manually sp uh, sped it up. Hmm. This is a problem. I can't really level up the Zigzagoon. I should put Boopy up front and let it get some kills. I'm not even gonna have Servine by the time I get to the, the gym leader, I feel. Maybe the Pokemon in the grass will be good to fight. 
There's not really a whole lot of things that are good for uh, training a grass type. If you had Tepig, I could just like set all the bugs on fire in Route 2. That would be good. Hmm. At least Beedrill's good right now. It's not going to be great in the long run, but it's cool that I have it. Wait. Huh? No cut tree here. What did I teach it for? Oh, for this one over here, duh. <laughs> Silly me. I thought there was one over here, too, but let's check. Oh, there's nothing here. What am I doing? <laughs> I thought I could walk over there this whole time. Hang on. Hey, what was the first Pokemon you received? Snivy? Then Panpour could be a big help. Your Snivy does not do well against fire types. You know, maybe I will have to take the Panpour. Oh. You don't automatically send that to the PC. Damn it, I forgot about that. I'll get Panpour in a little bit then. Chat, I'm gonna have to actually use it. I'm gonna use an elemental monkey. I feel disgraced. Oh, Incinerate. That'd be good if I had Tepig. Hold up. TMs are infinite because Gen 5. Special. I learn it. No one on my team, that's for sure. Panpour can get Skull pretty- Am I really gonna do a whole playthrough with Panpour? Would I? Okay. You see that floating balloon? It's pink. We need to get it. Muna looks like a pink Pokemon that got infected with something, and now it's floating due to its, like, insides bloating. It's like a Cleffa. with some disease. Get it. I'm gonna want it, that's for sure. Oh no. But, chat, I've spent years trash-talking the elemental monkeys. If I use them now, the internet will think I'm cringe. You can't do that to me. I can't have people- I can't have people think I'm cringe over a video game. That's unacceptable. I'll have to delete all my social medias. Let's get one more attack and then throw balls at it while I sleep. You said you played Genshin Impact now. That ship has already sailed. Hey, 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 hey. Rude. Internet funny points are gone. Love how the eyes actually close on the sprites, too. That must have taken a ton of work. Let's go. Are the base stats of the monkeys at least, like, upgraded? I hope. Dream Eater Pokemon. I thought that was drowsy. Okay, I caught it. Number 16. Do y'all appreciate the counter I set up? I really like this. Usually when I do dex runs, I just keep having to manually, like, say it out loud or check the decks, but I like having a little counter so when people pop into the stream, they can just, like, get an idea of how far we are. Mona always floats in the air. People whose dreams were eaten by them forget what dreams had been about. They steal hopes and dreams. They really are Kleppas. Alright. The counter's nice. You know what else is nice? A little cup chew. Which is an emote you all can use in chat if you want. Oh, hey, there's Drowsy. If you're subbed on Twitch, you can spam your own little cup chew. Look at Drowsy. Every time I see Drowsy, I have to say this. It looks like someone picked it up and dipped half of it in fudge and then just let it run wild. So look at it. It's dipped in fudge, clearly. Oh, I'm asleep. That sucks. Come on. Except for the toes. Just getting pounded. It washed its feet a little bit, but it's still dipped in fudge, I'm telling you. Hypnosis. Well, so much for that, huh? I wonder if Drowsy would be okay to use. I'd rather use Drowsy and Hypno over Muna and Musharna. Dreamer is making me want to eat a Drowsy. I didn't say eat it. It's level 12, so... Might be decent here. Confusion. 
Ecno is fine, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a red. Ah, not close enough. We should be fine to eat Pokeballs at it. Let's get her. I guess it makes sense for Psychic types to be in the Dream Yard. There's only Muna and Vanilla Gen 5. Oh, nice. Okay, number 17. I thought it would take longer to catch a lot of Pokemon, but I guess considering they have to put the whole national decks everywhere. Left, what am I at? Yeah, 17. There has to be a lot more Pokemon in each area to catch, which means a whole lot of options to play with. You can tell what people are dreaming by sniffing with its big nose. It loves fun dreams. It'll do the job. What else we got here? So I can go into the dream yard, but I can't do the stuff with, um... Oh, hey! Natu's here, too. <laughs> Jeez, everybody's here. Snivy's still sleeping. I'm gonna run out of Pokeballs at this rate. Uh... The team Plasma stuff doesn't happen until after the gym leader, so they wanted me to have access to catch stuff with, um... Now with cut first, yeah. Oh, it has teleport. Okay, maybe we can put this one off for a bit. I didn't think about not to teleporting. I see a shiny one that's save state city. Any items I can grab while I'm here? Oh, the TM for pluck. Struggle bug. Why is it called the Dream Yard, by the way? There's a lot of TMs here. Because, like, all I see is a broken building. It tells me that someone's dream didn't come true here. Or, like, the Crushed Dreams Yard. Ah ha ha ha. So clever. Smackdown! Hey, they clearly want me to use these but in the gym. Have a look. They're all 50 power moves. Or 60 power on you. Struggle bug. We're, now we're dealing with fire types, because I picked Snivy. Who can learn this? Nobody. Fantastic. Unfortunately, these aren't the moves I'm looking for. What else is here? Oof. No! No! Get away! They're here, chat. I told you this was the Crushed Dreams Yard. They're evil! Metronome. Water Spout. Well. Mythical Fairy. Maybe I should take a Metronome user into the fight. That would actually be hilarious. Cute charm, get out of here. At least it's not a Cleffa. Oh god, do I have to breed for babies? Or I cannot just find them? They gave me Clefairy over Cleffa, so... Well then. You made me, uh, stronger. Good job. Let's see if I can hit with a tackle. Nope. Double slap. Here we go. Hit four times. Just one tackle. No! Immobilized by love again. Shadow Ball. The power of darkness was within it all along. Alright, fine then. Uh... It's a girl. Beedrill's a girl. No cute charm here. Just use Bug Bite. Wait, do you think it's holding a Moonstone if I catch it? They should be programmed to- uh-oh. Uh-oh. I ate its Lepa Berry. Well, I guess it's not holding a Moonstone. Hi, Mina. Welcome to the stream. Or maybe you've been lurking. Liv? I should eat the Great Ball at it. Get in there. Did you miss anything? Just me dealing with the devil. 
two, three, four. All right, now let's update the counter. Number 18. It is said that happiness will come to those who see a gathering of Clefairy dancing under the moon and other lies you could tell yourself. Give a nickname to it? No thank you. I stole a slipper berry though. Okay, let's head back now. What am I doing? I got a bike. Beedrill's not the best one to be uh, trying to catch things with, clearly, with Poison Touch. Fury Attack would absolutely proc Poison Touch if I hit multiple times, because I assume it rolls for each hit. This is good progress for the first stream. Again, I'm a little bit salty at the hour of tech issues, but yeah, whatever. At the end of the day, I can just cut it out for YouTube so I don't have to sit through that moaning and groaning. Um... Yeah, maybe I should box the Zigzagoon. It's not even getting pickup, damn it. Like, ne it's never getting pickup. I'm so annoyed. I was hoping it would get that. Let's take a look at him. The Drowsy, the Muna, and all that. Okay. Analytic. Lucky Chance. Hasty. Infusion. Pound. Hypnosis. Gentle. Hardy is that. Um, you're already slow as hell, so this isn't very good, but isn't your physical defense already gar already garbage, I think? That's pretty whatever, to be honest. Okay, then. Chat, I'm gonna take the Clefairy. And then, I'm gonna take this that. Let's pop in the gym leader now. Beedrill is okay to help, but again, it can't take fire hits, of course. Boopy needs levels. Clefairy is emergency meme metronome. Why the hell not? Yes, I'm a gym leader of this town. You are... Right, you want to challenge the gym! In that case, what was the first Pokémon you chose? Snivy, it's weak against fire types. I think you need to prepare to face that type. For example, try training your Pokémon in the Dream Yard. Please excuse me. Also, bring at least three Pokémon with you. The reason will be apparent soon. Are they, are they going to make me do triple battles? I didn't even stop to consider that. Uh-oh. I didn't even I didn't even think that would happen. Hello, I'm Clyde. I'm the guide for trainers challenging the gym. We appreciate your challenging the gym. Take this to commemorate the occasion. Water. Welcome. We're very proud of our menu. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, there's the trainers. Well, try that. Welcome to Striaton Gym. Care for a taste of battle? I'll serve up the first course. Waiter Maxwell. Okay, looks like only the gym leader has triple battle. Is it triple or rotation? At least I can deal with this. Oh, there goes the yawn. That's annoying, but I'm gonna press on. It's probably rotation then, yeah, okay. That's gonna be tricky. Oh wait, I didn't get the pan pour. Dude, I totally forgot about that. I should go back and check it, it might actually be useful. 
maybe take it over a Zigzagoon, unfortunately. As much as I want to use the damn Zigzagoon, it won't let itself be used. That's a lot. Ralph. Okay, you got the whole primary types here. Hmm. Ralph probably will have bite. Let Pidgey do it. Let's see if we can do it. Give it a pluck. No intimidate? Oh, roar. Here we go. Well, it's Clefairy time. Metronome. It's got double kick? I didn't intend to kick the Clefairy, but okay. Alright, chat, watch this. Horn drill. Let's go. Mock punch. Without the priority. Let's do it again. Ember! No, you're supposed to love me! And it got a crit instead. Horn drill, but on a lower level. It doesn't matter. It was checking. Well, I guess I'll just use Drowsy's Confusion. I need that pan for. Not even Growlithe loves Clefairy. I outspeed the Growlithe. Hasty nature, let's go. Puppy is down. Pidgey leveled up too, because of the roar. Faint attack on Pidgey? Really? Um, you know what? Yeah, let's take that over sand attack. I'm not going to use sand attack. That could give us something. Badoo. Oh, we can stay in against that. Just use... It's Poison Grass. Whoop the baby. Zorb. That won't do anything. Feel the power of the fudge dip. Waiter Max, well defeated. Yeah, you're a trainer with a lot of uh, pepper. Is that what he said? Whew. So he had a water, fire, and grass type. Does that mean... Yeah, it represents the theme of the gym, I guess. But I'm wondering what the whole party's gonna be for the actual gym leader. I guess we'll see in a moment, won't we? Sliding backwards. Thank you for waiting. Let's do this again. I might get my butt handed to me a few times here, yeah. I didn't put a- I didn't put a Pokemon away. Hang on. Hang on. First of all, did Zigzagoon pick anything up? It still did not. Oh my god. I've gotten one potion from Zigzagoon. And I'm afraid it's not pulling its weight anymore. I'm sorry, little friend, but you have just been boxed. Felt like you're gonna get swept by the gym, but the AI was terrible at rotation battles. Okay, we'll see if that happens for me. We'll give it a little go. Give it a little funny ha ha he he. Your Snivy does not do well against fire types. You want this pan pour? Unfortunately, I do. Okay. Let's update the decks. Counter is at 19. Good golly. Hang on. Minimize chat. Give a nickname to it. If you have many types of Pokemon, something will work out no matter what kind of Pokemon you have to face. It's careful nature, minus special attack, plus special defense. Why do I even bother getting my hopes up anymore? I keep getting the worst damn natures. Well, at least it has water gun.
It's a bad monkey. Oof. It might be the only water type I can get my hands on for a while. This isn't the gym. What the hell am I doing? It'll probably still work better than Zigzagoon right now. Ding, ding. Now the monkey's worse. And who should lead here? Keep letting Boopy get it. Why not? Let Boopy lead. Bum, bum, bum. The specialty of Striaton Gym, the full course, Trainer Deluxe. I'm your second course. Exciting. Waitress Tia would like to battle. She's got a hop it. All I've got is Vine Whip and a Dream. So, if that's the case, let's just let Pidgey sweep this one. Get tackled. Get plucked. Poison Powder, how dare you. That little pink abomination needs to go. Pidgey gets a little bit, Boopy gets a little bit more. Slugma? Hmm. Well, I guess clearly you're the one for the job, Panpour. Get in there. Go, monkey, go! Level 12, you can do it. Yeah, damage! some of that. At least I have a buff special defense slightly. That's something. Ooh, look at that. Meryl. Now that, Boopy, I'm sure, can vine with. I should probably spend my money and then try the leader. This could be silly, especially since I have a metronome user. Meryl looks like it wants a hug right now. Chat, look at it. Look, it's falling over. Would you hug the Meryl? I'd give it a hug. Thank goodness it doesn't have Sap Sipper. Huge power hug. It looks so squishy! It's a squeaky and dead. Ooh, that's a lot. Only plus one to everything, damn. Wanna learn growth? I mean... I'm never gonna use rap. Even for stopping a teleporter. Maybe I could do something with this, who knows. That was one of our most popular dishes. Did you enjoy the battle? Oh, right. Contrary. <laughs> You're right. You're right, dude. That's just gonna make me weak. I peeked the microphone getting laughed at laughing at that. Oh, that's useless. Freaking contrary. What am I what am I thinking here? That's literally a worthless move. Okay, let's spend our money. Hang on. Do you have anything special here in this shop? Oh, he has heal balls. Uh, I kind of want heal balls. Those they're pretty and cute. Buy ten. No premier balls on that, though. Let's see. Only six there. Yeah, just give me six more. I don't care. Okay, let's give it a go with this team. Probably shouldn't lead with Snivy. Now, I should pick the three Pokemon. I should probably start with Clefairy up the front. Because that could be really funny if I just metronome into something good, right? Um... Maybe instead of Pidgey, I'll use this. Keep Boopy in the back. This is gonna go so terribly, I feel. 
If Metronome wins, I'll stop making fun of Clefairy forever. Do do do. Are you ready, Teddies? I'm ready. Welcome to the Striaton City Pokemon Gym. I'm Chili. I lighten things up with Fire-type Pokemon. I'm a Water-type Specialist, and my name is Cress. Pleased to make your acquaintance. And I'm Sillin. I like Grass-type Pokemon. Um, you see, as for why the three of us, um, are all here, well, mm -mm, er... Oh, enough. L listen up. The three of us will decide whom you'll face in a rotation battle. It'll be based on the type of the first Pokemon you chose. That is indeed the case, and the partner you first chose was Grass, it seems. Ta-da! The Fire-type Scorcher, Chili. That's me, will be your opponent. Alright then, let's do it. Yeah! Time to play with fire. I'm the strongest of us brothers. Let's do it. This is gonna be great. He's got that fire hair and everything. Tepic. Oh, he. What? He has six? And he has all starters? Oh, I'm getting bodied. Well then, there's only one thing to do, chat. There's only one thing to do. Rotate into metronome and pray. Yawn. Let's get him. <laughs> That's the worst thing I could have gotten. As if that would work on my Pokemon. Yeah, you're telling me. Okay then. Do they hold berries? Let's find out. Cinda? Am I protected from yawn by rotating? I don't actually know. Ooh, a crit! Yo, we have a chance. 69, nice, nice. Well then. Okay, looks like yawn doesn't go off. I'm gonna try again. Chat, hold up, hold up your teddies and give me some positive energy. Let's go, Metronome. Let's go. Charmander. Clefairy. Ember. You got this. You got this. Ladder. I confused it. And I, uh, raised its special attack. Good job, Clefairy. Oh, the yawn still came into effect. Well then, I'll just wake up. Well, Fairy's trying to sabotage. Yes, it is. Is it always going to rotate the same way? The babies need to be booped. Nope, it seems like it's not. He's trying to yawn me and I'm still sleeping. Come on, Clefairy. Dragging this whole team down. Come on, we need the memes. Okay, confusion damage. Clefairy woke up. Metronome. Metronome. Double kick. Kick the baby. Pop. Pop. Hit two times. Let's do it again. Snapped out of confusion. Great, now I gave it buffed ember. Heal block. Uh... Okay, then. I don't know if he can use a potion in these, but... I'm burned. It's my last metronome. Come on, let's go. With the holy grail of moves. Oh. You know, I'll take that. But I'm burned. That would have been good if I didn't get burned that turn. Okay, then. I say the pan pour, it's, it's time to shine. 
I wasn't burned, it would have taken it out. I guess Earthquake doesn't hit everyone in rotation. Just Water Gun. I heal blocked you, you jerk! Whatever. Spit. We spitting now. Fairy tried its best, but its best wasn't good enough. Do it again. I still dislike the monkeys. It's not good! It's bad! There's no point in even rotating. I'll just keep it up as a shield while mashing until I wake out. Nice, here we go. Oh, it still lived. We're cooking now. Nice. Yep. No Gen 6 Pokemon here. Uh, wait. What have we not seen yet? Chimchar. Oh, the other fire monkey then. Dragon Dance. Bro, you could do that this whole time. There you go. There's a level. Plus my special attack. Plus my special attack. A one. Beedrill's leveling up. This is his first gym, and he had, has all starters, and he had a Charmander with Dragon Dance. That's wild. Yep. Chat, check it out. It's Daniel and the Cooler Daniel. <laughs> oh boy, I can't wait to use Panseer. Oh wait, Chimchar exists. Why would I use Panseer? Like, you know, like, Panseer isn't, isn't poor man's Chimchar, it's desperate man's Chimchar, as in someone must be holding a gun to your head in order to make you use it over Chimchar. Man. Chad, I'm sorry, I'm probably angering Panseer's fans today. I hope all two of you can forgive me after this stream. Hey, Pidgey leveled up. Down the last ones. This is actually going really well, surprisingly. Wait, what? You can fake out. <laughs> Two, I'm being very generous. <laughs> yeah. They're not really doing a whole lot, sadly. They're not attacking me, so I'm walling them enough. Oh, okay, they're doing this. Embargo. Bro, what are you doing? Just attack me. Chimchar can't do anything. He's, maybe he's not the cooler Daniel after all. This is going surprisingly better than it should. These two are trying to set up, but they're not doing anything with it. AI does not like rotation battles. Did it heal? Damn it! I bury. Assist? Uh oh. Critical hit? Damn. Did it. One left. It's not over yet. One more. This is where I give it my all. Incinerate. Uh-oh. It's at, like, plus four from two nasty plots, ain't it? The final battle music. Here's the boss. Hmm. Send in Boopy so it gets the EXP. Okay. I already... It already ate its orange berry. I can't pluck it. Just go for a pluck anyway. Deal some damage. Oh no, it outsped? Oh no. Chad, I might be in trouble now. 
Oh boy. I should be able to take that. It has bite? Uh oh. It, no, it wouldn't go for that. It's gonna keep doing incinerate because Nasty Plot's been active. Confuse it, please. Oh no. Well, probably dead now, huh? Hypnosis never hits. Now we're going down. The battle's about to end. I trash talked the monkey and now it's sweeping me. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, we're kind of in trouble. We're in a lot of trouble, lads. At least I know I can pluck its berry before it sets up. Maybe I can get a crit with this. Come on. Yes, yes! Come on. No! Come on! <laughs> live, damn you, live! Live! It's not gonna live. Oh! Nasty plot guaranteed it wasn't going down. That hurts. <laughs> so freaking close. That panseer, man. Yeah, 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 I know about potions. I didn't want to spam them in battle, though. At least I got levels doing that. Looks like it's sundown now, too. Well, Panpour was doing okay. I really should just start with Panpour. Trying to use the Clefairy right away just made it so that they had time to set up. Hold up. Oh. My controller got stuck for a second. That was weird. Hmm. Uh-oh. Jeez, why is it doing that? My D-pad is getting stuck when I move it. Okay, I think it's fine now. That was concerning. Whew. Um, yeah, save Pidgey for using Pluck on the, the monkey. That should be okay. I can get a free heal off that. I think we can do it still. I'm gonna go back in. I spent my money before that. That was one of the most chaotic gym battles I've ever seen. It's fun, though. It's different. I like it. Ready for round two. Yeah! Time to play with fire! I'm the strongest of the brothers. Do it. You have to admit, when he said he had fire types, good lord, did he bring fire types. And I lost to the elemental monkey. I lost, but I regret nothing. I take back nothing. I stand by everything I said. So let's douse as many flames as we can. Let's one gun as much as we can until they go away. Sorry for being late. There were internet issues. Don't worry. We had our own tech issues earlier. This chat will tell you I never shut up about it. As if that would work. Let's do it. Imagine popping into- what? Try attack nature power? Bro, get out of here. Oh, thank goodness it didn't proc anything. Let's do it. Imagine popping into the stream and seeing this. Just, he has all fire starters and I have elemental monkey with a bad nature. Unfortunately, my Snivy is pretty... Snivy's gonna be fantastic later with Contrary Superior, but my goodness. Um... What am I trying to say here? I feel like the early game is really weighed against Snivy right now. Let's do it. Nature power, try attack. That's Cyndaquil. And poor is fast asleep. Can you do it? Can he do it? Got scratched by the baby. 
Is it Clefairy time? Mm, I think it might be Clefairy time. Oh, it's already in battle. What am I doing? <laughs> um... Drowsy can take some special hits for now. Soften him up so Pidgey can go in for the pluck kill. Fine, just do it. He's trying to ember me. He burned me, of course he did. Yeah, he's gonna rotate for sure though. He didn't he didn't rotate. Ooh, I guess we're just going for the raw confusion damage, huh? Everyone get some EXP. I know that the Panseer can, um... Hang on, is he gonna... No, I think he might stay in, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna rotate and pluck. Yup, here we go. Taking his berry. I ain't letting him set up. Critical hit, too. Nice. Deserved. Hold up. Go quick attack. I know he outspeeds me. Damn it. Finish him. He's going protect. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, he swapped. And now he's going yawn. Oh, that pisses me off. Hit something hard. Let's do this. Damn it. And Pidgey's down. Great. This one's going worse somehow, isn't it? I could probably outspeed and kill anything with cross poison right now. I should just do that. Cross poison will hit. Poison the bacon. Nice. Now here comes the Torchek. If he wants to swap to the Simi Seer, sorry, sorry, no, Pan Seer, he's gonna get hit and let it die, so let's just keep doing this. Okay. No matter who, what he goes around to, Beedrill can do this. I can't believe Beedrill's an unironically a good MVP right now. Everybody cheer for the B. Show that Bumble you're ready to rumble. Okay, Drowsy leveled up. Take it. Zen Headbutt. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, that's better than Pounds. Yeah. Surprising that it gets good moves for this. Clefairy levels up, too. Even Clefairy can be useful. Here comes the less cool Daniel. Now he's got assist. That worries me. Going. Yeah, get wrecked. Get beans. Nice. At least we're getting extra experience from the lost battle, right? Go ahead, switch. Go ahead, go ahead. Come on, I'm getting that monkey. He's going to fake out. Get bead. Ooh, so sorry. Oh, come on, in the background, don't get hit by poison, do they? I don't think they do. I mean, Drowsy's not taking burn damage, so yeah, that that's about it. Yep, we basically win. Beedrill outspeeds them enough. You and me, monkey boy. Let's do it. I'm not gonna metronome. Just finish him off. Just finish him off. He is a higher level. There we go. I can't believe he was actually still the ace and stronger than the others. Well, that was a good first gym battle. I like that. It had fun little twist, and he actually was prepared with his uh, specialty type compared to the OG one. Whoa-ho, you're on fire. What did you just call me? 
Well, it's time, or, or it's the league's rule. Take the gym badge. Hydrate and posture check. You're right. I love how it looks like um, the gym badges in this game. They look like the little spiritual stones from Ocarina of Time. Did you believe, chat? Yes, you did. In the OG, the Lillipup is more scarier than the monkey. <laughs> yeah, can be. 3 0 badge from Chili. Thanks for getting this up there, too, Yo-Yo. Appreciate it. Gym badges are proof of your abilities. If you have one badge, Pokemon, including traded ones up to level 20, will obey you. We also want you to have this. TM Workup. If you use Workup, the Pokemon's attack and special attack go up. Not if you're Snivy. TMs can be used as many times as you want. Excellent. That went well. Look at us go. Oh, hey, it's you. Hey there, I'm Fennel. Uh, Professor Juniper asked me to give you something. Please follow me. You're going to meet all the Pokemon in the Unova region, am I right? Oh, the stairs are right here. My room's upstairs, come on. Like I said, I'm Fennel, and as you can see, I'm a scientist. In fact, the subject I'm researching is trainers. Professor Juniper is my friend from college. She asked me to help you guys. So, I'll give you something to help you. This is a technical machine for you. Hidden power, all right. Hidden power's a unique move. Its power and type will change depending on your Pokemon's strengths. Why not give it a test drive? You can teach as many times as you like. And I'd like to ask you a favor, too. There's a place in the Dream Yard in the outskirts of town. I'd like some of the Dream Mist that the Pokemon there called Muna give off. With that, I'm able to use Game Sync to collect save files of various trainers. That's a feature we won't be using, I'm afraid. Alrighty. Let's go in here and heal first. Probably just finish up the Dream Yard stuff for the first thing of the day. No one evolved. The Dex is at 19 still, yeah. Hope to see you again. Good progress with all the things I caught. Hmm. Panpour is kind of just there still, though. I need to get the Boopy to level 16. Let's go for a little ride. we we'll probably take the guys here. Oh, right. I need to come back with cut. Darn it. Let me just replace the... the, the pan pour. With the Meowth again. Get in there. Yummy. Load up the PC. Check it. Now, where are you at? There you are. Go to party, please. I don't know why they updated the interface from Gen 4 for the PC. Gen 3 had literally the perfect interface for the PC, and then every gen after that is like, how can we make it slower and more cumbersome to use? I never quite understood that. Put you down here. You guys will do just fine. I should probably spend my money. Oh, you sell Great Balls now. Definitely gonna need some of those. I'll take five. Just in case we lose a battle, things could be bad if that happens. This is like the only time I need to use an HM to get around. It's at least one benefit of Gen 5. Hi, Asprey. Are you looking for the mysterious Pokemon too? It's Ooh, Bianca time. Hey, did you hear a sound coming from the other side of that wall? Come on, let's go see. Hello, balloon. Mun. Ooh, wait. We found you, Muna. Come on, come on, make some dream mist. Moo! 
Huh? Who are you? What are you doing? Are you talking about us? We are Team Plasma. We battle day and night to liberate Pokemon from foolish humans. What are we doing? The Pokemon Muna and Musharna emit a mysterious vapor called Dream Mist, which shows people's dreams. We're going to use that to make people want to release their Pokemon. We'll show them dreams to manipulate their hearts. Muna! Come on, spit out that Dream Mist. Can't you see I'm liberating you by punching you? You're kicking a Pokemon to make it give off Dream Mist? That's mean. Why? You're trainers too, right? That's right. We're Pokemon trainers too, but we're fighting for a different reason. Unlike you, we're fighting for the freedom of Pokemon, he says while kicking it over and over. We're fighting for freedom, he kicks the, kicks the teddy. That's terrible. And setting Pokemon free means that we win Pokemon battles and take Pokemon by force. So on that note, we're going to rescue your Pokemon from you. You try and take any bears from me, you're getting, like, clawed in the face by them all. What? Don't hurt Asprey. Can you imagine me just unleashing, a t uh, like, an army of teddies upon Team Plasma? How wholesome a slaughter that would be. Anyways, they're probably going to have actual things to battle with, so let's, fo let's focus. 14. Once again... I can't use Snivy here. Man, Snivy is not getting the chance to do jack crap here, ain't it? Toxic spikes scattered all around your team's feet. Oh yeah, you want to try that again? Hold up, what's better, my special or physical? Probably special, right? Slightly more attack, actually. Zen Headbutt would be better. Uh-oh. He's actually Toxic Spiking the whole team. I'm gonna need Drowsy to sweep. In my version of the game, Getsus gets mauled by an Ursa Ring. You're damn right. And then Cub Chu and Teddy Ursus gather around and, like, they roast marshmallows over his burning corpse. <laughs> That's great. Right. We like bears on this stream. I don't know if you noticed, due to the bear in the corner. Oh, that's right. Beedrill would just absorb them. I didn't think about that. You're totally right. Nice. Boopy finally gets a level. Ekans. Send it in. You barely noticed the bear. That's one cozy bear. Yes, it is. Intimidate is intimidate, but uh, probably able to still, still, still two shot it with this. Let's try. Let's get him. As a poison type fan, I like how effective Beedrill has been. Yeah, who'd have thought that Beedrill would actually be nice when you actually give it moves that aren't just Poison Sting and Fury Attack? When it evolved, it learned Cross Poison, and as a Weedle, it had Poison Tail. That was actually pretty sick, I gotta say. Now you got a Drowsy. I'm gonna switch in Beedrill and use Bug Bite so I can absorb the spikes. Do that. Level 10 Cross Poison is so funny, but awesome. I wonder if we can find any bears, though, and use them. Maybe not Cub Chew itself, because we, um... We used Cub Chew in, like, the last Unova playthrough. I kind of want Teddy again. Okay, let's try Bug Bite. Uh-oh. Couldn't finish him. Ooh. Yeah, he's level 15. At least we got rid of the spikes. Um... Boopy could probably get in there and finish it off. I hope. What's my s speed like? 23... Pidgey's is 21. Wait, Snivy's faster than Pidgey, huh? Beedrill was underleveled there, but it did its best. Okay, good. Finish it. Yeah, look at that. Plasma, our beautiful dream. If I catch anyone kicking teddies, you know they're getting slaughtered. The bears are gonna maul them. Were you not trying, uh, not taking them seriously because they're kids? Well, whatever, I'm next. 
So after they're trying to set me up with poison, they're probably gonna set her up with like facade or something. Coughing. Nope. I hope it doesn't go bloom already. What? Is coughing okay? Look at it. It just like it looks like a kid opened it up in MS Paint and is stretching and like shrinking it over and over. Yeah, I'm okay. Don't mind me, I'm just farting a little bit. <laughs> I'm okay. Now then, Drowsy's not quite dead, but is it really safe to switch him in? Not really. Hmm. He's probably gonna hit me with just a, a raw poison move. Maybe I should just switch in Meowth to take it, so I get a safe switch in to Drowsy. I'll do that. When you kick a Teddy Ursa, you summon, uh... Wait, gr Cut is Grass type? What? <laughs> what? Okay. When you kick a Teddy Ursa, you summon the Blood Moon Ursaluna, who runs on Blood Moon, the Mind's Eye ability, and copious amounts of stuff. Is the power different? I'm kind of curious now. Hold up. I didn't realize it was a grass move. 60, 100. Yeah, but I'd still rather not use it on Boopy, because then I can't get rid of it. Am I allowed to delete HM moves? Smoke screen. Hope so. Give him that. Is he not gonna attack me? Well, he's gonna do that finally. Did Sharon still mention HMs being difficult to forget? I don't even remember. I just noticed we have a lot of people here. Welcome, everybody, and YouTube audience. Still watching. Okay, we're finally down. Safe switch in to Drowsy. Tackle. Not enough. Great. Well, I hope I can hit land a confusion at least. Coughing, stretching, and shrinking there. That's so funny. Come on, just hit. Alright, gotta go for now, friend. Catch you later. Grousey gets a little bit of this. Boopy gets a little bit of that. Stats are not going up that great. Rhymer. Uh, keep it in. We're clearly gonna go down soon anyway, so let's just go down fighting. Ah, miss. Ah. Just land the confusion. Ew, Grimer. Grimer's gross. Yes, it is. Teddy Earth is way cuter. Man, one's, one smoke screen he got drowsy with, right? Oh, disabled. Well then, we'll just have to go with this now that he's hardened, so... Oh, wow, it still killed him. Apparently should have did that first. Well then, only one thing we can do now. Metronome with Clefairy. On the last Pokemon, you know you want to see it. Acnea. All right then. Are you ready for memes? Get ready for memes. Ooh. No crit. Oh, it's got Leech Seed. That's not good. I'm probably better off switching right now. Can't let it keep getting that off me there. Was 
expecting Cacnea to have, like, rough skin or something. Yeah, why doesn't it have that? Let's go pluck. Let's go in growth. We got him. Hey, we did it. Cacnea fainted. Plasma. This is a nightmare. Darn right it is. And we win. I can't believe we lost. But we have to obtain the Dream Mist. Yeah, I feel like if you pick Snivy and you tried to only fight with just your starter, you would be having an absolutely miserable time right now trying to, like, beat anybody. Snivy is just... There's lots of flying types early on. Now there's all these poison types, and you're not soloing that gym battle with just your starter, clearly, with all those uh, starters. Come on, make with the Dream Mist. Knock it off. What are you two doing, Goof? Off. Let me get a drink. We, Team Plasma, shall separate Pokemon from foolish people. You cannot fulfill your duties. This isn't. Gets us when he's gathering followers, or gets us when he's trying to control people by tricking them. By the way, have you ever looked closely at Getsus's overworld sprite? Um, y do you notice the, the the toothy grin? Like, the little white pixels there in his mouth. You can just barely see it when you're really looking for it. Like, yeah, hey, 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 it's me! Or Getsus when he's trying to control people by tricking them with speeches. Yeah, it's a good thing these two talk in exposition when they're scared. This is Getsus when a plan has failed, when he's about to issue punishment. At any rate, let's hurry and say we're sorry so he forgives us. Jar. What was that just now? That person called Getsus appeared all over the place and wasn't real, right? Would it have been a dream? And that Pokemon... Oh. Meanwhile, look at Bianca's... Look at Bianca's face at this angle. Sometimes there's weird angles where the sprites get a little stretched. <laughs> but then you get Bianca's face looking like that. <laughs> Blobby face. Is she okay? I couldn't wait, so I came over. Is that Musharna? Musha? Mooney. They farted out a Pokeball. Did something happen? Oh, Fennel. Well, you see, Muna was here, but Team Plasma and Muna and Musharna came, and it showed us something like a Dweem. And then Team Plasma... I think I followed that. So Musharna evolves from Muna. So seeing Muna in trouble, it used its power making dreams into reality to save Muna. Which means, wait a second! Is this Dream Mist? With this, I can complete my research. You two come to my house later, okay? Phew, how random was that? Why don't you go to Fennel's house? I'm gonna look for the Pokemon we saw here. Okay. Now that we've done that, the whole team is dead. Maybe I should get a Servine before I end it up today. 390. Take a little bit. Let's just go get Fennel stuff over with as well, why don't we? 19 Pokemon for the first episode ain't bad. But, um, I definitely gotta focus on training things a little bit more. Um, the next gym battle is probably going to be really rough. I'm going to need to add a fighting type user to my team. I don't think I'm going to stick with the pan pour. Its water gun was useful, but it's not going to be that great. Do that. Should get a what? I need a fighting type. Fighting type for what's her face in the next battle. For the next gym. Lenora, that was her name. Yeah, her, her uh, Watchhog can actually be a little scary. I mean, yeah, there's Scald, but I could put Scald on more things than that. Honestly, I'd want to catch a different Elemental Monkey at this point, because that one's really bad if I wanted a long-term long semi, uh, semi pour. I always forget, Pan is the is the Prevo, Simi is what you say for the evolutions. Ta-da! 
Thanks to you, I got some Dream Mist, and now I can collect save files of various trainers. No, you can't. Thank you. As a token of my appreciation, I'll give you the Sea Gear. Now that square in the corner will look different. The Sea Gear is a device related to communications such as infrared or Nintendo Wi-Fi. None of which you can use. Obtain the Sea Gear. No. Yes. You want to turn on the Sea Gear, touch the power symbol at the bottom right. Then after turning it on, if you touch the... You can't do this. Do you have not? No. You know this will not work. Don't pretend it will. Now Game Sync can retrieve memories of sleeping Pokemon. None of... All of this stuff has been shut down for a decade, Fennel. Stop talking. Thank you very much for helping, Fennel. This is from me. Please take it. Oh, here it comes. You can register your friends in the pal pad. After you register, you can link with your friends over Wi-Fi. Can't do any of this. You can't do any of this. There we go. Pokemon have never been able to dream ever since. Fennel's been unemployed since 2016. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so up the next route is the daycare and all that. Yeah. Hang on, what else can we find in the dream yard? Let's take another look. Please tell me I healed. Did I just do a cutscene? I did. Good. I still have my Meowth with cut, so we can look in here. I picked up a handful of TMs, that's good. But I can't really use them at the current team. There should be, like, more than just sock and throw to catch. Oh. I found a rare one, fellas. Okay. Egg. Egg. Toga baby. So, is, um, helping Fennel the what activates the shaking grass? I don't actually know. Pokepi's the rarest thing here, yeah? Another metronome user. Bullet punch. Mm. Throw a Pokeball at it. Go, go, go. Well, we got a Togepi now. Ending this on catching 20 Pokemon's not bad. Maybe I should use Togepi over Clefairy if I'm gonna run Metronome, because I could use Togekiss. Togekiss is something I've never used in a full playthrough. At least as a long-term mon. Put 20... Excellent. Gosh, I'm glad I took the time to set this counter up. It's so nice. I know I need friendship, so it'll take a while to evolve, but... Um, does anyone know if this game is more generous with friendship gains. I know a lot of stuff do that. It transforms the kindness and joy of others into happiness, which it stores in its shell. Let's hope it has serene grace, yeah. Let's go check that right now. We can get Servine next time. I wanted to use my starter a little bit more, but so many options, I and I only had Tackle and Vine Whip. I could give it Cut, but that 20 power is not making a world of difference here. You can walk around with Mons in the daycare. It can it can boost friendship faster. Oh, okay. I don't have any berries at all. The game just started. Let's have a look at this Togepi. It has Serene Grace, and it's a hardy nature, so it's a neutral to everything. I think this Togepi is a contender for you to get used. Fortunately, we have to train it up. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna need a Pokemon that can fly later, too. It could be Togekiss. Can I get Shiny Stone? Or, sorry, no, it's... Is it Shiny Stone or Dawn Stone for Togepi? Or Togetic? I don't know when I get a Moonstone anyway. Clefairy was fun for a little bit, but I, I, it's on brand for me to box it. It's Shiny Stone. Okay. We don't need this anymore, right? 
Actually, hang on. Isn't there items down below Route 2? I can just check right quick. Let's do that. Has anyone ever used Hustle Togekiss? I keep, keep forgetting that Hustle's its other ability. Hustle is so bad and stuff like that, right? It's only a hindrance. Togekiss has 50 attack. Oh, boy. A super Potion. A Great Ball. I guess that's fine. Okay, this is going to be the stop, er, the stopping point for episode one of this little session here. This was a lot of fun. I enjoyed playing it. Even despite the issues earlier. Again, if you're watching live, thank you all for putting up with that. I was... Ugh, that was not very fun. To just complete the 20 minutes of story and then just spend forever trying to get the game to work again. But it seems to be fine now. Game has been saved. I'm gonna do some more of this in the future, too. But, um, I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna play a little bit more on stream. Maybe do a little bit of Purity Forest. I hope you're all enjoying this. It's always fun to start a new Pokemon playthrough. If you're a new viewer on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed watching this VOD too, because I know these get recommended when we start them. Anyways, this is where we're going to stop recording to the first episode. Have a good night. Bye-bye.